Hey, uh, I'm Time. He's Cable. We're doing Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back today. We did the first one a while ago, and I did very bad at it. So hopefully this one goes a little better. <laughs> when we loaded this up for a second, I thought that was a golf ball with the two on it. And I was like, Time, did you load up some kind of Crash Bandicoot wacky golfing simulator? It does kind of look like a golf ball. Crash Bandicoot seems like the kind of thing that would have a wacky golfing I'm looking it up right now as we speak. <laughs> I don't think there is. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 is my favorite one, just like with Spyro 2 that we played recently. So, Time, I hope you know where all the secrets are and are really good at it. Uh, I, we'll see, I guess. Because <laughs> I don't know where all the secrets are. You're on your own, dweeb. Uh, you could look that up for me if you felt like it. I, how am I going to describe to you how to get it? <laughs> I guess. Get all the Hit all the boxes, Time. There you go, that's how, that's how you get one of the gems for each level. That'll be a good thumbnail. <laughs> Zooming on his uvula. Yeah. Oh, crystals. These were right under his nose the whole time, apparently. <laughs> Finally, I can eat these mushrooms. <laughs> He's looking past the crystal like, oh, these look delicious. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do those ones. I heard the ones with the red caps and the white spots are not great. It took him a year to get out of that cave without a match. <laughs> look, it was very dark and very complicated. And also he built a space station in there. Why is there no subtitles? Why is there no subtitles? Why is there never any subtitles when you play games? <laughs> I guess I should have looked at that first. Uh... Mr. Cortex wanted me to get the real crystals, but I said, why not the hologram? <laughs> Look, it's bigger, it's brighter. And now it has tits. <laughs> He'll never notice the difference, it's fine. I, for one, think it's better. Whatever his name is, I forget. She uh, appeared to be watching the beginning cat's cutscene of Crash 1 on the laptop there. Crash, my battery's dead. You need to get on the wheel again. <laughs> to charge it up. He probably just does that. <laughs> he was taking his nap, taking a break, but uh, that's why I died, because he wasn't on there. You two are just sitting here in the middle of nowhere, just in the middle of the path. Yeah, just kind of hanging out. It's fine. There's not even, like, a anything to go back to. They are just, like, in the woods, I guess. We came to harvest these mushrooms. They're very valuable. All right, I can do this now. Yeah, you're getting more of a kit, kiddo. Yeah. They redid his uh, his starting kit. You'll have to pay for the battle pass to unlock his super moves. <laughs> this, uh, the Crash Bandicoot battle pass, yeah. Watch out, there's an armadildo. Well, it's gone now. Well, now you have leprosy, but that's fine. Oh. Hey, hey Coco, can you do something about this? Oh, did you see that? Let's see what? The... The graphics on the the pit wall there, or it's just a little bit of Z fighting. It's fine. <laughs> no biggie, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Don't, uh, it's normal. Uh, don't worry about that crash. Says Coco. It's normal. God, stop judging me. That's nothing. <laughs> your uh, your stack of leprosy is increasing. By the way, <laughs> stack. You're gonna get sundered if you keep getting that. Whoop. Whoops. Oops. You've accidentally been pulled into an adventure. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been kidnapped. At least you're not alone. He's still just kind of hanging around. No, he's gone well, now, now he's gone. <laughs> got vacuumed up. You're not allowed to see this one, he said. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here. You, you just kind of... I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been Did, turned Do down. you just have the ability to teleport me anywhere from anywhere? Uh... uh Five doors. When did you get this crystal. power? Uh, that's very crystal concerning. Like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. Don't eat them. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> I know they taste delicious. Nice, fresh grape flavor, but do not eat these. Do not, Crash. Eat them. Don't do it. You can eat the extra gems. I mean, I don't care about those. <laughs> Aku Aku is like, yes, Crash, he's right. Don't eat to them. Only I can eat them, says Aku Aku. So that I may gain their powers. 
I forgot the way he just like slides on screen. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What you what you doing there? Playing playing a playing a video game? He should have just gone up for his eyes, and then he just slowly sinks back down. Oh, there's my my leprosy meter. Whoops, leprosy meter. It's overwhelming. It's filling up like Dark Souls. Just plague. It's like curse. <laughs> you're gonna get hit with it, and you're gonna explode, and your health's gonna be permanently less. But since you use him to take your hits for you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Crash has one hit point anyway, so. It's gonna be like original Dark Souls, where that used to stack. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ugh. Or it's just super hardcore. You just get hit once and you die. <laughs> but he already gets hit once, and he's like, I already had to deal. With I mean, there are a lot of armadillos out here. I already got that double quadruple leprosy stack. <laughs> Double quadruple flip street stack. Mm. He's like, no, get out of here. No, quit it. Come back when you know what you're doing. Do oh, I want to, though. Let me in. Let me in. I'll drill through the floor. Crash, that never works, says Aqua. <laughs> it could sometime, eventually. Okay, there was that one time, but you got lucky. There was like sand you were doing it in. <laughs> yeah, remember when I avoided those bees? Watch out, these radioactive turtles are going to murder you. I'm doing it. Well, their attack is very easy to avoid, but they will eventually murder you if you're not careful. What? Why did it Why did it make the, the fall like death noise when I went down there? <laughs> I don't know. It's a video game, kid. I'm doing it. It's fine. I'm good. You're going to come back to Coco with a giant sack of wampa fruit, and she's going to be like, Crash, that's not a battery. <laughs> They're, they're fuel for me, so I can run on the treadmill and charge it up. Were your treadmills right next to me? Where did you go when I told you to get back on? You just wandered away. <laughs> You've been gone for like a whole hour. <laughs> a whole entire hour. That's how long it takes him to do this adventure. It's an hour. <laughs> Any idea how, how much uh, X.com uh, drama I missed in that hour? X.com. Don't die. Whoops. Whoops. I'm good at the game. It's fine. Well. Bodes well for the playthrough to come. It's fine. Well, I'm pretty sure this is voted the most difficult game to ever have been made, actually. Pretty sure this is the Dark Souls of uh, PlayStation 1 platformers. That's the first one. This one's the Demon Souls of play for PlayStation 1 platformers. Oh, I forgot Don't this die. weird hole with the... Moles, are they? I thought they were like oh, yeah. rats or something originally. Dude, well, they might have been going for moles, but they ended up looking kind of ratty. Cause I mean, they've got the little the little snoots. Yeah. Get them, kill them, murder them, beat them up, take their jackets. They, they sure take their sweet time about it, uh, trying to kill me. Well, this is the introductory level to the baby game. This is like the actual first level. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Don't tip that into the water. It'll make delicious green Kool-Aid or a delicious grape Kool-Aid. I meant to say green Kool-Aid. Whoops. The <laughs> colors are just all over the place. Oh, what is this magic? This technology is out of control. Oh, they're actually made out of rock candy. Don't eat them. Don't. You hear echoing in the back of your mind. <laughs> Don't eat them. They're em. mine. 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 Don't do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it, he says, says Crash. Oh, he said, he said, do it. <laughs> I did hear do it several times, so I'm pretty sure that, <laughs> that that vetoes the don't. Where? Oh, I bet they were in the... Yeah, but you go to the game. The, the thing I can't get into yet. I, th I think you can get into it, actually. Can I? I'm pretty sure you can complete every single one of these levels. You don't unlock new abilities or anything. Yeah, you do in this one, don't you? No. I thought you got the... The, the body slam or whatever. Isn't that this one? Can't you do that now? I don't think so. Well, you don't have a currency. What did they just eventually, hey, crash, slam your face into things? <laughs> He's like, I've already been doing that. What are you talking about? Maybe I'm thinking of the second one. I thought you unlocked abilities in this one. Well done, Crash. He says another little bot coming with a hand. Goes pat pat on him. The, uh, it, it like cuts back to Crash and he's like got the, the crystal in his mouth. <laughs> you just hear crunching. <laughs> Cortex is like, oh, you're kind of fuzzy right now, Crash. I kind of see what you're doing. You're not eating that crystal, are you, Crash? Are you there, Crash? Oh, hi, Coco. Crash. Are you there, Crash? Are you there, Crash? 
How did you get the signal? Oh my god, he stole your head. I don't... Hmm. Well, just AZ or whatever. Jump and press buttons. See if you can do it. Oh, I can't. There, right there. You don't unlock abilities in Crash. What are you talking about? I thought... There's no money bags in the Crash games, kid. <laughs> I must be thinking of the third one where you get abilities when you uh, beat the bosses. I don't even remember that. Uh... Look at his feet. <laughs> this is a walk, yeah. Look at his confidence stride. <laughs> Look at him strut. Look at his boy. I guess I can go back in here and do that then, or... Whatever, just move to the next level. Okay, you don't get to see whatever that thing would have been, whatever. He's not going to get all the clue things anyway because he, don't know where they are, <laughs> where they, he doesn't know where they are. God dang. Oh, well. That's the fine. snow go, kid. You can't play this level. Turn back. Oh. He should just try to open the door, but it's like buried in snow and he can't get out. And he's like, well, I guess I just have to wait for it to melt. It's for just it. a Oh, wall. my God. I just have to wait for it to melt. I can't talk today. I guess I got to just wait for it to melt. He, he opens the door and it's like a it lo like you open the door for your cat or something and they see there's snow on the ground. So they, they, they're like, oh, I want to go out. Door opens. They look at it for a second and then go, eh, never mind. I just want to make sure outside's still there in case I need it later. <laughs> oh. Right. You could blow up that nitro, but well, I guess the TNT took care of it. Mm, there'll be the 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 box at the end of the level. Oh god, ice physics! Oh yeah! Oh god! Oh god, the ice physics! Enjoy! Oh god, they're really bad. <laughs> wow, these are really bad. You think they'd have done <laughs> this better, given that this is their second attempt at making the game? Yeah. Was this maybe the same team? I think. Yeah. Uh, wow, why is it so bad? Because it's ice levels, and ice levels are just required <laughs> to be bad by contractual obligation. Whoa. This is, like, especially slippery, though. <laughs> uh, no, kid. This was developed by Vicarious Visions. Oh, was it? It was not developed by Naughty Dog. Huh. Oh, God. They apparently have a long history with Crash going back to 2D platformers for the Game Boy Advance in the early 2000s. He has since joined Vicarious Vision's own wildly popular Skylanders franchise with Bugface Spyro. Oh, good. He talks in that, too. Does he? <laughs> yeah, they f***ed up both characters by having Crash talk and ruining Spyro's face. <laughs> yeah, Spyro does look really bad. I don't remember if this is the level that has a thing it can drop down here right here or not. Well, I don't know what to tell you, kid. I guess I just got You gotta... miss all the shots you don't take. Whee. Nope. It's death. No, you die. <laughs> I could have told you that. I just chose not to. I <laughs> just chose not to. Thanks. You're welcome. Anytime, kid. Whoops. I'm good at the game. That was your fault. That was my fault. <laughs> just shoot him with a gun. No, he left it in his other jeans. No, just shoot him with a gun. You could have okay. I thought uh, Be brave. I thought this icicle was a was a falls on me kind of icicle. No, those are much bigger. I'm pretty sure. You could slide, yeah. Hey, give me the control, I'll do it. <laughs> I think I know how to play this game. Uh, it's fine. You'll remember it. What purpose do these stompers do, serve? What do they do? They, they're just... Whoa. I did not know you could do that. You just repeatedly jumped on his head until he was crushed into dust. I, I did not know you could do that. That's rough. <laughs> That's capital FF rough. It, it's tough to be a penguin. In. Is this what you were thinking of here? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. He should just put a hole in the ground every time he does that because of his nose. He just like pierces the dirt and ice and sometimes steel. Uh, how do I do it right? How do I how do I do this? Crouch jump. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Video games. Video games. Oh, my God. Wow. Where did he le learn all of these moves between games? Uh, the the wheel. <laughs> the wheel? 
You got into really good shape. <laughs> Once Tana left him for what's his face, pinstripes. He had nothing left to do, so he just ran on the wheel the whole time. It was like he was like the Riddler in the Harley Quinn cartoon. He just got into super ripped shape. Whoops, you fed up. Yeah, I did. Uh... I think you can still get that with the crowd jump, though. Like insanely good shape. <laughs> You can't see it because all the fur, but his muscles just so big. Yeah, at night he unzips the fur and takes it off and he really sees abs. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were hiding back here. Blam! Kaboom! Goes the blam box. Oh, baby. That was a good save. Oh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stylish save, too. He did like a front flip over it or something. Die. Okay. Whoops. That's fine. You're doing the opposite of what I was asking you to do. I didn't die. I just got hit. I can hear it in your voice. You're dying on the inside. I'm not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Says Crash. Over the Discord server that he's typing on. He brought his own laptop. He's just in his pocket. <laughs> That's why she actually asked him for batteries. He just had a spare pack in his pocket for his own laptop, but he forgot and just went on an adventure instead. Yeah. That's it's why she was staring at him while he got up and left. She was like, okay, you're just going to ignore me then, are you? <laughs> okay. Okay. Whoops. All right. That's fine. Don't die. Okay, see ya. <laughs> you get to live for now. This time. I'm not running away. This is a tactical retreat, and also <laughs> I'm letting you live, and also don't tell anyone. And also tell all your all your friends. And also tell all your friends. Penguin's writing this all down in a notebook, like, okay, what uh, Okay. Uh, don't give me the control, I'll do it. Sigh. I don't know if you know this, but I main crashed to it, Evo. <laughs> I'm really good at it. There he's dead. I sometimes beat it within a day. <laughs> within a day. <laughs> I think this one's a little longer than the first one, too. So. Is it? I will find out. <clears throat> Time to beat Crash Bandicoot. The first one was about six hours and 16 minutes, according to this. Average playthrough of the main story. Uh, I guess each uh, one of the little like hub areas in this one has five levels, I think. According to howlongtobeat.com, it takes about 11 and a half hours for 100% completion and about six hours for the regular just main game. Well, that's about the same, then. About the same. If you're really good at the game, you could have beaten the whole thing in like five hours. And by five hours, I mean 100% completion. Uh, I, I don't think I'm that good at the game, unfortunately. I'm an OVGDM 1911. OVGDM 1911 plays all three of these games at once. <laughs> On three separate controllers. While eating a sandwich. <laughs> Get jealous. You think that this works on... um? What kind of teleporter rules do you think they work on with this? Mm. Well, it's got like a... The kind of like... Like little ring thing. So I think it's some kind of like... Wormhole instead of like a... It deatomizes you and then puts you back together thing. So you think it's a wormhole, then? Yeah. Oh, no. Hello, it's you. You are Say. <laughs> you have acquired a gem. Interesting. Yeah, I... Are you okay? <laughs> no, he's very clearly evil and not even trying to hide it. <laughs> but Crash is thankfully an idiot, so we get to keep playing the game anyway. Uh, what what these what what's that these two guys who uh i had to fight last time or like hey do this thing for me you can totally trust work trust me and he's just like oh yeah sure when cortex first showed up crash had just sat down and started picking his nose waiting for coco to find him <laughs> created i wish you had subtitles i also wish you had subtitles <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> you see his eyes go all split. Yeah. 
I don't know what he said, but I'm pretty sure he's not okay. He's very trustworthy. He might have got a little bit of brain damage when we like threw him out that window last time. His muscles were all ripped to shreds when he got all <laughs> swole. Remember that? Yeah. He's still not over it. His potion had a couple of side effects, maybe. <laughs> this level is... Ah, uh, it's this one. Or this. It's got the surfer music, kid. You don't remember this? Yeah. Oh, careful. You might have to take a bath. <laughs> oh. Hey, these are different from last time. It's a robot fish. We well, had to make it scary for you. <laughs> are these Cortexes fish? Like, who put these here? They might be, uh, what is he? Brio? Brio's fish? Maybe? Is Brio not working with Cortex? No, he was just telling I us. I would know this <laughs> if I had subtitles to read. Yeah, no, he was just telling us that, uh... Keep going, kid. Cortex was going to use... Uh, the gems to do something evil and he was like no give me the or the crystals to do something evil and he was like no give me the ooh, don't jump into that Whoa, baby. <laughs> the uh Whoa, Jesus. The, the gems instead so I can blow up his space station and stop him from doing the evil thing whatever the hell you just said time <laughs> jeez. you should have just crashed into it but like gets crashed in the gut when you hit the pier why do I have a timer I don't know. Why do you have a timer? Why do I have a timer? I haven't played this game in years. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't remember this timer existing. Why do I have this? Evidently, there is... Uh, evidently, you're timed for something, obviously. <laughs> Duh. Pfft. This guy. That's how much patience I have left in your playthrough. <laughs> oh, only 10 seconds? I think I did. that's if it paused. <laughs> Maybe it might be over. It might be overdrawing and have to owe me extra <laughs> seconds for something. Play a game you hate and make you watch me. Oh, no. Every second that you go over my patience meter, you have to continue playing Final Fantasy VII for that long. <laughs> Time doesn't like Final Fantasy VII. Well, the timer's gone, so whatever that was. It's probably one of the... I'm pretty sure it was that. Oh, was it this? It must have been that. Oh, but I activated that. Was it just from the start of the level, I guess? Well, every single level has a time trial gem. Oops. Okay. Okay. I the second you hit the hippo, <laughs> I in my head said he's not gonna make this jump. <laughs> yeah, I was a little bit uh didn't jump uh, soon enough on that one. Whoops. Whoops. Oops. I got the crystal. Oh my god. Says the choir following behind Crash at all times. This extremely safe thing that we're doing with these hippos. What are you talking about? Hippos are harmless. Haven't you seen them eat entire cabbages? They just go nom, nom, <laughs> nom, 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 crunch it up. It's not like they're the most deadly predator, or not predator, but most deadly animal in Africa or anything. <laughs> that They definitely can't do to you exactly the same thing that they do to the cabbages. Whenever you see them just crush a watermelon in their, fa in their face <laughs> hole... Just know they do that to human skulls if they feel like it. <laughs> that could be your entire body. They wreck the shit of alligators and lions. It's crazy. Yeah, they're they're big too. <laughs> That's the main reason why they wreck the shit out of uh, lions and <laughs> tigers and bears. Oh my. Oh my. There are lots of bears in Africa. <laughs> Says the voyeuristic adventurous lion. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Crystals, not pat, bad. pat, pat. Crash, I good job. Well done. <laughs> the drone flies in. His propulsion goes wrong and it just crashes in a crash and he blows up. <laughs> it lands on his head, yeah. <laughs> Leaves his sneakers flying up in the air and Cortez is like, damn it. Well, go ahead and wait about 30 seconds. The pits. This is the pits. Is that what it is? Uh... Careful, this level's in Mexico. You can tell from the orange hue. 
What, what is the problem? But I did not realize spinning those guys uh, knocked me backwards. Well, they have the flat top. They're coming at you with beaks. You got to jump on them. Yeah, I guess. But like it just bumped me instead of just killing me, which was weird. Well, that's how they do it in Mexico. <laughs> I mean, it's in... Jump on them. Squash them. I guess it's... I guess they're actually in, like, the Pacific Islands somewhere. No, the orange hue says it's Mexico. <laughs> I'm referencing Breaking Bad and how every scene in Mexico has, like, an orange tint. Well. A Showtime hasn't watched, by the way. I've watched some of it. A Showtime hasn't watched, by the way. <laughs> I, th I don't know if uh, the orange filter is something that's exclusive to Breaking Bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the one that got super popular with it, because Breaking Bad is the greatest TV show for me. <laughs> so when people think orange filter, it's like, oh, it's Mexico, like I'm Breaking Bad. Look at her. Hmm. I've seen other things use it for Mexico. I've also seen other things use it for just like flashbacks and Old West and stuff like that. It's both. We're in past Mexico. Well, obviously the past took place in Mexico and then we moved on to the present where we're in America, so. <laughs> That's definitely how it works. If you're not in America, then sorry. Turns out you're confused you are in America, sorry. <laughs> the whole world, America, in the present. Amer uh, planet America. In the future, it could be, I don't know, Canada, maybe? We're, we're going north on the globe. <laughs> yeah, the further the timeline goes, the further north we go, yes. <laughs> Watch out, that guy's goofy ass buzz saws on his back yeah why, why did you make them like this uh i don't know what his job is cortex or whoever did this was strange creature pick that one up by the tail and slap things in the face with so that they get leprosy but then holding it also gives me leprosy you've already got that quadruple curse you don't care <laughs> remember just pick them up by the tail and just slap the enemies then they'll be like what the f was that and just walk away and be like you'll see you'll uh, uh, you'll get You'll get it eventually. Just wait, dweeb. Dang, Crash is playing the long game this time. <laughs> He's learned to strategize in between games. To strategize by making it take a lot longer to remove threats for him, <laughs> but just do it in an unnecessarily cruel fashion. Nobody claimed he was very good at it. Mantana leaving him really did a number on him. <laughs> He, he learned to strategize, but he's still doing it with Crash Bandicoot's brain, so... I feel like how doofy he is, he didn't even notice when Donna left. <laughs> yeah, probably. He's probably, like, licking a window or something. He's just like, huh, I wonder where, I wonder where she's been. I haven't seen her in a while. He was trying to tie his shoe for about two weeks. Coco wasn't helping him with this. Mm. You gotta learn sometime, Crash. I can't be there to help you strap on your strap-on <laughs> shoes. They're just Velcro strap on. He's like, how do I tie these? <laughs> He's trying to tie them. <laughs> <laughs> do, do I go back and down the other path too, or? Mm. Well, do you want to be a huge badass that tries to get all the crates? I guess I don't. Well, you. I think they intend for you to. Well, I guess. What, <laughs> you you do what you want to do, kid. Watch out! You got four. Oh, okay. Oh. That was a little close. It's fine. You spooked me. <laughs> You're going to get uh, Crash sawed from the groin upwards, and he's going to be like, wow, this is one of the worst ways to go. <laughs> of all the ways that I've died, uh, not a big fan of this one. Hoping that memory break sh like shorts out at some point so I don't have to remember all these. <laughs> uh, just just uh, going to delete this one. He says plugging a... F a f what is it? A, f a fire cord into his head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just plugs one of those in so that he can get it like on a tape recorder so he can see what he's looking at. But wait. He's like, just gonna hit the delete button on this one. Roll back the film so I could just record over it. He can't look at it because uh, Coco's laptop is out of batteries. Yeah, it's his laptop. Keep up. <laughs> also, I said camcorder. He's using like an actual camcorder to do it. <laughs> He takes the VHS tape out of the back of his head because he's that's the kind of tech he's operating on because it's crash. And he just rolls the film back, and just records over it so he doesn't remember. All, all the kids these days not even going to know what a VHS tape is. I'm pretty sure they know just from popular media. 
It's easy to say nobody knows what it is, but I mean, there are so many movies and junk that people talk about that has a VHS tape or a cassette tape. I mean, cassette tapes are still used in like productions. Cassette tapes are still actually widely popular in prisons as well. Oh, are they? Yep. If you've ever seen electronics that are clear, like the plastic is clear, they're made that way for prisons. Oh, are they? So, so my my, my Game Boy Color that was purple and see-through. <laughs> that one was probably made just to be fun for kids. <laughs> Your atomic purple, just like I had. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably just for kids. But that was probably the model they allowed in prisons. <laughs> Which they probably started getting like a decade after they were new, because that's usually how it works in prisons. But yeah, CD players, TVs, uh, cassette tapes are the main things they give people because cassette tapes are, um, they actually don't give prisoners CDs because they can be broken and used as weapons. Oh, yeah, I suppose. So cassette tapes are still used in prisons. I guess you got the clear ones so they can't like hide stuff inside of them, I suppose. Yeah. Mm hmm. So if you want to have a cassette tape of the newest released album, you can actually buy those on websites that get surplus stuff from prisons. So if you have a cassette tape, and you want to listen to it on a cassette tape just for nostalgia reasons or something. Interesting. They're probably, I mean, I'm sure there are people who actually do that. Yeah, there are probably people who just like cassette tapes. I had a cassette tape player in my first car that I never used because I don't have, I have like three cassette tapes. <laughs> I have like Eddie Murphy's Raw and Storage somewhere. <laughs> and um, another stand up comedian's act. And I think like a Bon Jovi album. Where? You missed him, dork. Where? You missed him, dork. It says again. <laughs> That's its coded in response to your voice. If you ask the question where or start anything with a wuh sound, it just says that. <laughs> the, the game, yeah. Why did she leave me, Crash says. You missed him, dork, it says back to him. <laughs> oh, I, I missed her? I do miss her. You're right. <laughs> well, them, implying that you were probably cheating on her. Like, oh, oh. Crash was cheating on her. Oh. Well, uh, Whoops. <laughs> oh, there's a tiny little box for a loading thing in the bottom right. Did you see that? Oh, was there? <laughs> I didn't notice that until just now. There was a tiny little crate. Oh, I thought that was TNT for a second. You scared me. <laughs> no. You better be careful. I sense there might be a giant rock about to roll towards you. What? No. No. You ever see UHF? Uh, UHF. I think it's UHF. It's the movie that has Weird Al running like a, t a TV station. I don't. Ooh, I forgot about those. Whoops. You're a dead kid. Ooh. No, I'm fine. Well, you I didn't say when you were going to be dead. You're just going to be you're just going to be dead eventually. If you think about it, we're all dead. <laughs> it's fine. He's getting he's got those good traction on those uh, available now Crash Bandicoot brand shoes you can get. Uh, look, they have to be real good with all the running he does. They have to have that good grip. All kinds of terrain. I was going to say in UHF they start off with a parody of this. The not this, but like a parody of the Indiana Jones boulder th uh, temple thing, <laughs> and the boulder chases him outside of the temple and then like into the city streets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny, and then it gets him and he gets squished like a cartoon character. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Should follow him all the way home, and then the next day he opens his door and it's waiting for him, like in its car across the street, just staring at him. <laughs> One of these boulder levels, if I remember, has a secret on one of these bridges that I fit. Oh, yeah. That when it after it falls, you can jump down after it. There's like a level. There's like a bonus area down there. But I'm pretty sure it's not this one. What a tiny crate. OK, what's well, gone? You know, the secrets better than I do, because I never even tried to get the secrets when I played this game. I was like, that's hard. I also didn't have the internet back when I was a kid trying to play this game, so I had no idea how to do it. I also didn't have the internet, so I don't remember how we, like, figured them out. <laughs> you just do it. Or you buy their primo strategy guide, kids. It might have been the strategy guide, actually. <laughs> That's how they sold strategy guides. Don't die. I did it. It's fine. I'm really good at the game. Don't die here.
Welcome to Crash 2. Uh, and I'm gone. Okay. <laughs> I, I was saying the music here is not bad. Yeah, shut up, whoever said that, listening to this video. <laughs> Uh, doesn't it get annoying having it pinch your nose standing that close, Crash? No, he doesn't even feel it. I blew up. I'm Whoops. really good at it. <laughs> Nailed it. It's fine. It's okay. I did see the box there for just a tiny little bit of a second. <laughs> see, it's just pinching your nose. He's fine. He can't even feel it. It's okay. Not anymore, he can't. <laughs> there. Okay. There we go. Oh, baby. You did it. You beat the baby game. There we go. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. I don't know what you're talking about. Amazing. That should have just been a giant banana peel that you slid on, but that's fine. I guess a booster pl platform could have worked too. <laughs> just a banana peel. <laughs> well, you needed that. You needed those as well. Well, uh, I'm not getting them now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> he should just have like a hunger meter that when it runs out from all these calories he's burning at all times. He just like falls over dead. It just slows him really far down and he like can't jump more than like a foot. Once it runs out, he just turns into a skeleton. <laughs> Come on. You did the exact same thing. Again. I did do the exact same thing. This game is hard. This game was made for babies. I could beat this with one eye closed. <laughs> Prove it. Fine, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> you just can't see it because I'm not the one we're recording. There, I did it. I beat the whole game. You're welcome. You're welcome. I got that life, too. I didn't hit that. I got all those fruits <laughs> and I was fine. You should be watching him play. He's much better at this game than I am. Yeah, it's really crazy. I just found the secret cow level. <laughs> I did it again. Uh, you did it again. I did it again. Uh, I'm on my fourth playthrough, and you did it again. It's hard to judge where you're at and coming towards the camera. <laughs> That's my excuse. <laughs> oh, my God. Dear God, time. Dear God, go left on that jump. <laughs> Give me the controller so I can crinkle it like an empty soda can and give it back. <laughs> Play it now. Oh, God. You actually made it that time. Amazing. Yeah, you get like a... Like just a little tiny bit of a... Oops. That's fine. It should have hit you in the back and like broken a vertebrae. Just <laughs> shoved you forward. And you're like, oh, God. Oh, why do I have to play with it? He has to crawl slowly <laughs> along the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to Crash Bandicoot 2, everybody. <laughs> okay, so the white gems, we found out you had to break all the crates, obviously. That's the one we knew. The colored ones have special conditions that we neither of us know off the top of our head, so... We're probably not going to get those. If we get them, we get them, I guess. <laughs> if we get them, we get them. Probably won't. But if we do, we do. <laughs> uh, Crash, why did you eat both of them? He used to just keep them in a pocket, but <laughs> I guess that didn't that wasn't realistic enough. So they were like, what if you just swallowed them instead? <laughs> what if you just ate it? Yeah. Look at all the warping portals go away for a second there. You see that? That's not how this was before. Oh, they're still gone. Look at that. You're playing the boss fight now, says the game. Shut up. That ain't how they did it in the original one. Yeah, you used to get on the platform and it lifted you up to the boss fight. Ooh. I guess they were like, the babies don't know how to do that, though, so... <laughs> Give him a big portal. 
Yeah, it's Ripper Roo again. Damn time. Do you have as many PhDs as Ripper Roo? No, he's a very smart. Did you know he invented learning? <laughs> he invented learning. There he goes. This is how I teach my students to count. However, he does this. Uh. How do I get you? How do I get you? I think you need to make him. You just wait, and I think the nitro dazes him, and then you can hit him. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. What a dork. Dang, he's so smart, he grew Einstein hair. <laughs> Did you know that Einstein was smart because of his hair? Because of his hair, yeah. He kept his brain in there. He kept his extra brain in there. <laughs> it's like connecting two graphic cards. <laughs> Just doubled up the power. Whoop. I'm glad that doesn't actually hit me. I'm surprised it doesn't. It would have in the first game. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised that... Didn't You're supposed to, there, okay. okay. You gotta follow them as they explode, or at least when they make space for you. You almost beat on your first try and then you died. What a dork. Everybody laugh. Yeah, I died. Uh... Okay, now stop laughing. That book up there just says crash. <laughs> Does it? In the upper right, it just says crash. He wrote a whole book about you, kid. Wow. Amazing. It just say crash on it. <laughs> There's another copy of it down there, too, so... In case anyone was wondering, he has two copies that you can come get one. I'm trying to see what the other ones are. Uh, I don't think the other ones say anything. Named. It's too pixelated on my end to see it. Mm, they say something, but I can't read it because I'm trying to pay attention to this guy. Oh boy. You've almost beaten the baby boss. Yeah, almost. You've almost beaten baby boss. <laughs> the boss baby. <laughs> boss baby. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. Have you seen the movie? I've also never seen that movie, and I don't want to. Why? What's wrong with it? It sounds awful. What, I, what, what was it about? A baby who's a boss? <laughs> wow. That's not even physically possible, he says. You've stolen my hair. My second <laughs> brain is gone. I've lost all my PhDs. Oh, no. And his mustache. I guess I'll just be sent back to the loony bin. <laughs> I'll have to work myself back up from the bottom. I could have been something's crash. You ruined me. Do you think if I learn everything the same order that I did before, I'll write the same thesis? He <laughs> just writes it exactly. But then he gets caught for plagiarism because he... <laughs> I was going to say, like, when Dr. Octopus took over Spider-Man's life and used his own thesis <laughs> and then got caught for plagiarism when, he, when Peter Parker took back over. So that was their stupid excuse for why he got, had to lose it. Up. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted. Whoa. Oh, 12%. 12%. <laughs> Blazing through this game. Blazing. Right down there. That's where I left him. Oh, look at that cute polar bear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it took you a second to, like, get to me there. Well, I'm working off of, like, a land, like, a, a, a few hundred megabyte connection here. I have a gigabyte here in this dang ass ice cavern. You should be talking with like Discord barely connecting like <laughs> glitchy sounds. <laughs> Everyone's why you're doo doo and he just leaves. He <laughs> cuts out midway through. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I mean, it's Cortex, so he's very trustworthy. Is she wearing lipstick? Her mouth looks weird. It did look weird. I don't know why that was like that. Bear! Scritch it. Learn its secrets. Oh my god. <laughs> why, Time, would you do such a thing? Why would you abuse this poor bear? I, I think I remember a secret that if you jump on him enough time, he gives you life, but... I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about, Time? <laughs> what could you mean? Well... I guess we're on the very dark and spooky cavern there. We're going into the next the next final boss. You mean the next final boss? The, the next final boss. The next one. We're going into snow biz, though. Finally, Crash says, pulling out his top hat. <laughs> his cane. No, no, Crash. Snow biz, not not show biz. 
You mean I just murdered Rue for his cane for no reason? Yes. He didn't deserve it, Crash. Says the internal narration voice for Crash, because he's not saying it out loud. <laughs> oh, see, I thought it was Aku Aku talking to him. <laughs> he sounds like David Attenborough when he's thinking in his head. <laughs> the Bandicoot kills the... <laughs> Yeah, Crash says that about himself, the Bandicoot, in David Attenborough's voice. The noble Bandicoot. <laughs> okay. Whoops, you just walked up and let him murder you with his tail. I hit the circle button. All I did was try to pet him. Okay. <laughs> All I did was try to hug him. Why are the animals here so mean? Why do they secrete such dangerous toxins? <laughs> Deadly poisons, yeah. These aren't even like cyborg animals or anything. They're just regular penguins and uh, the sea lions that are very far from the ocean for some reason. You're not acclimated to this climate, Crash. You're an invasive species as well. The thing is, they're arming against you to protect their own ecology. <laughs> that is why they must kill you. They're guerrilla warfare against you, you invasive species. <laughs> Oh, the ice in this game. Oh, the ice in this game. You should have grabbed your own nose and like tugged it forward to get extra distance with your jump. No, no, run away. Never mind. No, run away. Okay. I, I thought he was going to turn back before that, but. I'm amazed that you let that thing kill you. <laughs> that thing, that creature, that beast. <laughs> that thing. Whatever it could be from whatever planet it came from. Never seen something like this in my life. It's gross. Movie. Okay. Why did you think you'd make that? I thought I could make it. I th Why? Mostly I thought I remember doing that like when I played it as a kid. Welcome to the playthrough where I'm exasperated pretending like I'd do any better. <laughs> I haven't played this game in forever. You should grab one of those and like harvest its spines to use as a projectile weapon. That would be very useful actually. Uh, I can't do it though. Whoops. Nailed it. I believe in you. <laughs> I did it. I mean, somebody has to, right? <laughs> Thank you for the vote of confidence. What? Somebody has to, and I'm the one that volunteered for it. Whatever, fine. I don't f believe in you, then. <laughs> Get over it. You're gonna die. Oh, right. Told you. I need to probably uh, slide jump that. It's a good thing I retracted my belief in you right before you died, <laughs> so I don't look stupid. <laughs> These games are hard. These games are made for actual tiny babies. For hardcore gamer babies. With a I Heart Mom tattoo on their shoulder and everything. Smoking a cigarette. <laughs> it's a super ripped baby. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ow. That kills me with the mat. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh, well. Wow, look at you. Look at the moves on this boy. He did it. He did it. He did it. I don't know if you're watching. I hope you're watching. You see my skills? Were you watching? Okay, you, what, uh, what, the, what the hell? I'm bad. I don't know what I was trying to do there. <laughs> Ah, jeez. Got him. Did you make it? E whoops. <laughs> you distracted me and I got hit by those spikes. It's your fault. Okay. I'm blaming you. Get back to work. <laughs> you can blame me all you want, but I still own this business. <laughs> I built this place from dust. This place, all the ice from dust. Yeah, all the ice. I built it. Oh, I hate the ice. Oh, I hate the ice. Why did you do this? I thought I took that one out. Sorry. <laughs> Why did you have to make the ice so slippery? <laughs> I guess they're not really big. I thought they were bigger than this. I think the other ones were bigger. But... It's weird that they made it so that there's a second one behind it that falls too. Yeah. It looks kind of strange. 
I think they just put it in the middle and just be like, whatever, got you. Yeah, I don't know why they they did that. Don't die. Strange. Don't die. Fine. Mysterious, some would say. I'm fine. I thought there were reflections, but nothing else is being reflected. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, ugh. Man, my face is getting a workout today, wink, wink. <laughs> what do you mean, wink, wink? I don't know, ask Crash. He's the one that said it. <laughs> Just have me explain it. Don't put that evil on me. <laughs> what do you mean, wink, wink, Crash? Whoa! <laughs> That's all he says in response. <laughs> Whoa! That's all I can say. You just said more words before that, though, Crash. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! But like shifty eyeing this time. <laughs> the woes get uh, increasingly nervous. <laughs> He's like that duck in Little Gator game. <laughs> squonk. <laughs> yeah, squonk. <laughs> That's not the button Whoa. I wanted to push. Look at the moves on. Look at the schmoves on this boy. Yeah, I'm really good at the game. Look at them schmoves, kids. I'm so good at it. I made this game at Evo. He made the game at Evo. <laughs> I made it at Evo. He made it at Evo. Like in a van behind the building. <laughs> He's like, I'm technically at Evo. I'm not attending, but I am here. And then when I finished it, they debuted the game at that same Evo. <laughs> doesn't come out of it in the belly flop still boo he's like i just choose to land that way i can always write myself like a cat <laughs> if i felt like it the bandicoots lesser known power landing on their feet all the time like cats do lesser known powers they enjoy landing on their faces actually <laughs> they'll twist in the air to land specifically on their face it crash is actually not unusually uh unusual for his species it's coco that's the weird one well, that part's the weird part for Crash. Coco's just a huge nerd. What a nerd. Everybody laugh at Coco. Ha 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 you're smart and you know things. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser, am I right? That's prospects and shit. I can learn <laughs> things really well. What a dork. Cortex also has a big brain, and I beat him up all the time, so... He's also got resources, clearly, because he built a space satellite thing. But what good's it doing him? <laughs> well, if he felt like not trying to get these crystals, he'd obviously have the resources to be like a multi-bazillionaire. <laughs> I mean, he has future tech. He gave you sentience. But he loses to Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I mean, that's Crash's fault, not his. <laughs> All he was trying to do is heighten the sentience of your species, but you decided to rebel against him. What a jerk. Hey, we're in the level air crash. <laughs> Enjoy. It's another surfing level. I like these ones, I think. Don't get wet. You'll lose your natural musk crash. Oh, oh, no, we can't have that. That's why I pulled in Tana. <laughs> I'll die without that. It's also why I lost Tana. <laughs> I took a bath and then she just was gone. <laughs> Pinstripe still smelled like that nuclear <laughs> waste facility, so she just immediately gravitated towards him. She was like, oh. You smell dangerous. This is much more pungent than that other guy. <laughs> you're also dangerous because you have a gun and you're radioactive. He's just a Geiger counter going off whenever <laughs> she's near him. Just tick, 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 uh, I'm pretty sure one of those hidden warps is right here, but I jumped on the boxes, so. Or it could be because you died. Don't crash, it'd be really embarrassing and I'd laugh at you. Yeah, don't do that thing that you're named after. Yeah, quit it. <laughs> He's like, fine, then he disconnects. He's actually surprisingly good with vehicles. <laughs> yeah, he knows how to do just any kind of vehicle he needs. He'll do them. Ooh, that was a little close. Ooh, the, ni the nitro. Crash can fly an airplane. I can't fly an airplane. Crash knows how to pilot. How the hell did you survive? How did I do that? 
You can also pilot a submarine in junk, too. They jumped off him so fast he didn't even notice. Wow. A jet ski. Jet skis, uh... Numerous go-karts. A, a motorcycle. A motorcycle, yeah. Uh... Meanwhile, Coco has tamed a tiny lion, a tiny tiger that she can ride around. Well, Crash has tamed a tiny uh, polar bear, so. Well, he doesn't really tame it. He just kind of like holds on. <laughs> there was the pig in the last game. <laughs> oh, boy. OK. Wow. Nailed it time. <laughs> well done. That was incredible. <laughs> it's fine. That was my practice run. You always got to get your practice running. <laughs> You're doing your stretches by dropping off the ledge. <laughs> OK. Well, how was I close about enough? that one? Hello. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Can't wait for you to try to hit that box that's in the water later. It'll be fine. I'm excellent at this video game. That's why you've beaten this on your first try. Yeah. As far as the viewers know. Yeah, you already beat it. We're finishing the level. This is like other footage that he recorded just for a joke. <laughs> no, I'm going to edit it so they only see the runs where I don't die. <laughs> And you're going to do that thing where you clip out syllables from what we're saying so that it sounds like I'm actually saying good job. And you're like, yeah, my first try, I did it. <laughs> yeah. He's so complimentary this time. <laughs> well, that was amazing time. <laughs> well, that was amazing <laughs> It doesn't even sound good. It's like not even right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here you go. First try. Wow. Simple. Capital Z, easy, kids. <laughs> There's the death thing. What's well, deactivated, so. Is it? You died like 19 gazillion times. What the hell? <laughs> I thought that deactivates if you die. Did I die on this level? Maybe. Better it deactivates if you die once trying to do it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I like how the music got faster. <laughs> That's because you're in a death run, kid. It's for all the bottle caps, nerd. Don't die. I like the candy bottle caps. Ah. Uh, you died. Well, there goes all the bottle caps just dissolving in the water. <laughs> Whoops. That's fine. They made it to the death run, so that counts for something. Oh, it's there again. Okay, well, I don't know what the death run rules are then. I also don't know. Maybe it doesn't count deaths in the death run. Maybe. Maybe. Don't accidentally die trying to do it on your 19th gazillionth attempt. Okay. How do I time this? Well, I timed it the last time. I just, uh... And do it right. Yeah, the problem is you died last time. Don't do that again. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, see those things can squish you like a bug. I did it. You did a good job. And then I'm coming through here and a whole bunch of death lasers just come out of the walls and shoot me into, and like turn me into ash while I'm trying to grab the gem. And the Red Queen or whatever is like, you're all going to die down here. <laughs> First, she does a laser at like head height and then she does a laser farther down. But Crash being Crash gets hit by the first one. <laughs> and he just sits there and keeps getting caught up more and more. He doesn't even try to dodge it. He just stands there and all the lasers go through him and then he starts coming apart. 
Like he's just standing there doing his doofy little stance, just bouncing. And then after all the lasers are done, he just like collapses into a bunch of cubes. I'm gonna speed run it. Yeah, dang Aku Aku just floating up asking if we bought the battle pass. <laughs> Oh, Crash, I see you don't have your battle pass activated. I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and kick you out of this level, actually. Uh, you know if you buy the battle pass, you'll get more Wampa coins. <laughs> Wampa coins. <laughs> if you get the battle pass, we'll give you a ration of Wampa fruit so you don't die. <laughs> see if you'd had the battle pass. See, he didn't tame it. He just jumps on it like, just check this shit out. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It even like went away from me. He's like, oh, sh oh no, it's Crash. Oh, you almost died on that one. <laughs> oh God, not again. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this to me? I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. Missed a box. Mm, well, that was a pretty important box. That was a life too, yeah. Unfortunate. Don't die. Now things are just blowing up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what these TNT are for. <laughs> Guess they make the level look cool. Don't die. Don't die. No, I'm fine. I'm okay. Give me the controller right now in the middle of this race. I could have <laughs> saved you. <laughs> the bear was also. Oh. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Oh, jeez. Don't step in the sour green apple box. I'm amazed you got that one. <laughs> I'm also amazed I got that one. I'm amazed you got that. <laughs> what are these killer whales even doing here? Well. I don't really need to hit this because I missed several boxes, but oh well, might as well. You remember, you remember in the first game when you glitched out and died and hit the thing anyway? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Twice. It just reminded me of that because I was thinking like it'd be funny if you glitched out and fell in the water after it chucked you across. <laughs> like you just died when you weren't supposed to. Yeah, it happened twice. That was weird. <laughs> One time it uh, locked the game up. One time I think it threw you some threw some crates too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think I hit some crates and, like, got the the gem from it. <laughs> hey, you got it. You cheated. <laughs> Everybody banned time from uh, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, we're going into Crash Crush. Well, it's too late for that crash. The sliding can help you avoid dangerous obstacles. If you didn't know this. Oh man, what could it be? You got the boulder again. Ooh. Careful. It's a good thing those landmines don't kill you, I guess. If only those would break its heart out of shell so you can get to the chocolate inside. <laughs> Whoops. Whoa. Whoa. Don't die. <laughs> he crashes like actually like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very dangerous. You look genuinely panicked when you got back up. <laughs> He's having a, a bit of a time. It's okay. If you go this way, you get the BFG. Oh, that'll be very useful when I fight Cortex. You don't get ammo for it until the last level, though. Just be prepared. I can just vaporize him. Whoops. Kind of like that. <laughs> well. The ammo's a trick, by the way. If you try to pick up the ammo without the gun, you just vaporize at the end of the level. <laughs> you need both. You get punished if you don't have both. If you picked up the gun and you don't pick up the ammo, oh, it, it blows up in your pocket. We have to get the gun first. What are you, what? That's impossible. This game's broken. <laughs> it also deletes your save. You have to start over. <laughs> and downloads a few Trojans to your computer. If you're playing on like an Xbox or PS4, it just wipes the hard drive. <laughs> it gives you the red ring of death. On a PS4. On a PS4. <laughs> Don't die. I'm not. I'm doing it. Don't die time. I'm doing it. Time, don't die. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Time, don't step on a mine. Time, don't fall in the pit. Don't step in the nitro. Don't get electrocuted. 
Nope, I'm cool. What would you do without my coaching? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you very much. I wouldn't have never done it without you. Yeah, that's going to be like a few hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> Don't hit the things that kill you. Well, well, it's a good thing you only did it for like 10 seconds. See, this is see when I stop doing it, you hit two mines. <laughs> I think I remember hitting those mines a lot as a kid, too. <laughs> They're placed real hard to avoid the first time through. Take cover. Dive. Oh, he hit his <laughs> face on the edge. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Not even Crash was expecting that one. <laughs> He's like, I didn't need those front teeth. <laughs> or that nose. <laughs> Well, I kind of like my nose, though. It's part of my image. How am I going <laughs> to? This is how I sell merch. It's the nose. <laughs> I'm nothing without my iconic nose. His iconic nose. <laughs> On his iconic face. On his iconic face, yeah. So he can sell his iconic merch. <laughs> I don't know why you left that uh, playthrough reliant one single wampum fruit back there. Kind of needed that. It's very important, actually. You're going to show up at the end. They're going to be like one fruit too short. I guess they removed you being able to hit your fruit things away. Yeah, I guess. Unless the, the belly flop just doesn't do it or something. We'll test it right now. Spin. Okay. Can't spin that away. <laughs> In that way. No, it gets them. So I guess it does, but it's like really. It's like hard to do it now. It's extremely forgiving. Thank you, uh, Viscous Studios or whatever the hell it was called. Whoops. <laughs> That's fine. I was lulling the boulder into a false sense of security. That was my pro strat. It was a vicarious. <laughs> Was it Vicarious Viscous, something like that? I think it was vicar Vicarious Visions, I think. Viscous Visions. <laughs> viscous. Ew. Ew. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, baby Jesus, please. I'm a pro with this game, if you didn't realize. You didn't. I noticed. <laughs> I was going to admit it, though. Well, you just did. I said I noticed. I didn't say that it was true. <laughs> Aku Aku also noticed. Stop noticing me, Aku Aku. Uh, please stop noticing me, Aku Aku. <laughs> just put him in the corner of the screen watching you play the game the whole time. <laughs> That probably explains why the controls were you were complaining about them on the first one, because I didn't know this was developed by a different company. Oh, yeah, maybe. I thought this was in-house with Naughty Dog, but no, it was outsourced. I wonder if... Did Insomniac do the Spiral games? Let me see. I think it was a company called Toys for Bob, wasn't it? That sounds right. I think you're right. I'm not even going to look it up. You're just correct. If it's not true, then everybody go edit the Wikipedia article to say it is. Oh, oh boy, the sewer level. Everyone's favorite. I remember these bubble mother hackers. These bubble boys. <laughs> yeah, these guys. Look, I'm gonna go. I didn't notice they had jumpy jaw faces. I also didn't notice they had jumpy jaw faces. This is probably. I just got hit with nostalgia looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Remember the eels and the. The eels. The very angry eels. There they are. In these. Hey, those nitro blocks spawned in. <laughs> Did they? Oh no, it just bounces. I thought it spawned in because it was bouncing on top of it. I was like, oh. Like it just dropped. Yeah, like it just dropped in right when you turn the corner. Don't die. Stop it. Stop dying. I didn't. I got it. It's fine. Yeah, I told you to stop and you listened. Thank you. Finally. Uh, is this the room that has the secret in it? I don't remember. Mm. One person decided to leave their lunch in the nitro box room. <laughs> well, nobody else will grab it if it's in there because it's too dangerous. That guy loves to live dangerously. 
He's like, uh, my heart gets pumping, so it burns more calories when I'm in there. I'm just sweating. <laughs> I'm like really nervous. Helps me watch my figure. If every time I try to eat something, it's life threatening, I don't eat so much, you know? <laughs> Imagine if every time you went to your fridge, you had like win an old west style duel with guns. You'd be like, I think I'm good. I'm going to skip lunch today. You know, maybe not. Duel with who? The fridge? There's just a robot there that just does it with you. <laughs> if it gets hit first, the trigger doesn't activate. This sounds very dangerous and impractical. You know what? I'm not hungry, it turns out. Maybe I'll just go out to eat this time. Yeah, but then you have to worry about the hit it's going to do to your wallet. <laughs> and also the backup robot that follows you around when you go out to eat. You get into the car and he pops up in the backseat. And he hijacks your car. <laughs> puts a gun here and says, don't fucking move. Keep driving. You're going to the spaghetti factory today. <laughs> the spaghetti factory. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the cheesecake factory, but it's spaghetti. I think the spaghetti factory is a real place, isn't it? Is it? No, I might just be mixing up spaghetti <laughs> cheesecake factory. I've been to the cheesecake factory one time. I have never been to a cheesecake factory. Uh, there's a place called the Old Spaghetti Factory. I might be thinking of. So I was right. Get wrecked, dork. I just remembered it wrong because <laughs> I was thinking about when I went there. I was like a tiny baby, so it wasn't the Old Spaghetti Factory yet. It was the Young Spaghetti Factory at the time. It ages in real time, this, the, the restaurant. The baby spaghetti factory. The ancient spaghetti factory, eventually. The retired spaghetti factory. <laughs> Serving you retired spaghetti. No, I don't want to eat retired spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti doesn't work anymore. <laughs> the spaghetti has a pension. It's that old. <laughs> that old oh geez he hit the edge of that box and did like an action slide over you see that like swung his legs over I was trying to do it again but nope well I'm here now I don't think I got the crystal did I oh I did okay <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been to this place I think if I'm remembering right I actually didn't like the spaghetti because it had traditional sauce, and at the time I was used to just eating Prego because I was a kid, and that's all my parents bought, <laughs> and that has like tons and tons of sugar in it. So when I had actual legit spaghetti sauce, I was like, "Why is it so sour? Oh, gross!" I I don't like like sweet spaghetti sauce <laughs> very much. Yeah, I prefer it more normal, like traditional. I just don't want to make it because it takes like seven hours. <laughs> and now I want spaghetti. Look at these guys. <laughs> Look at these guys. You gotta get a cannon and shoot it like a Spyro. Otherwise, they'll get you. They do kind of look like that, actually. Well, they're just spiky mines that are floating in the air. There's not really many things you can do with that. <laughs> also, their faces are completely different. Their faces are completely different. But. But. It's fine. But look, tiny crate. Okay, it's gone. Oh, it is gone. I swear it's there, guys. I was looking at Akiwaku drifting in from off screen. There it is. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> Every time I notice it, it flitters away like oh. it's an SCP or something. Hi, Coco. Oh, hey, Coco. You have a way out? Y can you can you, can you, you just take us home, Coco? Crash, are you trying to talk to my Coco bot again? <laughs> she says, like, coming out of the hologram. Your, your what? My Coco bot. You... Coco bot? Excuse me? Yeah, I sent it as backup. <laughs> but you have to go through this conversation again, Crash? Again. Oh, I I did not get the... But... Huh? <laughs> That's fine. I'm going to pause. What are you game. trying to say? Hello? <laughs> Do you I, need a coffee? I didn't get the crystal on this level somehow. Well, I guess you're doing it again. I guess I'm doing it again. How did you miss this? 
You were in this room. How did you miss this? I don't know. I guess you broke these and just didn't turn around. Don't you have to, though, to leave? No, I think what I did was I came over here, saw the crystal was here, uh, thought this was the main path and went went to the other one to see because I thought that would just be like a little side thing. And then I forgot. Well, you could have picked it up on your way back. Everybody point left. <laughs> There's the crystal. We found it again. Here's us after the level. I'm good at the game. It's fine. Yeah, we did it. I got all the boxes this time. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I could see that his eyes were really deep in shadow because he spent most <laughs> of his soul trying to do that. <laughs> most of his soul. You could buy a new soul for a few gems, says Aku Aku. It says money bags popping in from off screen. It says money bags wearing Aku Aku. <laughs> You're just putting up with this, Aku Aku? What do you mean putting up with it? I'm in control now. <laughs> oh, but but you're acting exactly the same as money bags. What? Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication. Are you though? I'm going through the tunnel. <laughs> wow, they're you're saying a lot of bad words. They're censoring the hell out of you. <laughs> Uh, the Komodo Brothers. Oh, baby. Oh, uh, Coco Bot Engage. Coco Bot Engage. Let's go. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> shut up, Coco Bot. This is my game. <laughs> Hit direct attacks. Don't hurt them. Oh, I guess this is the boss fight. I didn't realize this was the boss fight. This seems very safe, this thing that you're doing. Well, we do it every day, all day, so we're really good at it. So it is safe when we do it. Whoops. <laughs> okay. You playing with fire there, Crash. Jeez, calm down. <laughs> They're not very smart, these two. You should have thrown that first sword and actually sliced the other guy's head in half. <laughs> yeah. It's like, whoops. No, it'll bounce off of his little tiny helmet. And then he breaks down. He's like, my brother. No. No. <laughs> just starts crying and crashes just awkwardly watching him in the corner. Ooh, that was close. Blech. I guess they're dead forever. I guess they're dead. They, these two, I'm pretty sure, never show up again, so... Dead forever, like I said. <laughs> There's gonna slowly bleed out now. There's like a sword skewered through both of them. Oh my god. Crash like does his dance, then he turns around and just like glares at him for a half second and then leaves. <laughs> like he knows what he did. Now I'm back, Coco Bot. Coco Bot engage. Bleep bloop. It says. Assuming direct control, Coco says from like a speaker on the side of the head. <laughs> She would have teleported you back with the way that she could teleport the Cocoa Bot in, but she can't actually get flesh to come through that way. <laughs> it burns away, so you're stuck here with Cocoa Bot. <laughs> he, just, just, he just gets stuck. Stuck here with Cocoa Bot. The plant food. Yeah. Whoop. Whoa, Never mind. Shut up, <laughs> Cocoa Bot. This is my game. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. I was trying to find an excuse to make some new boots. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 Cortex. No. You're the one that skewered them, Crash. <laughs> Why do you care? Okay, bye. Coco Bot, engage. Shut up, Coco Bot, the mic. <laughs> prevents her again. <laughs> Beat the timer to earn a special gem. Don't get your computer wet. Uh, that would... No, it's waterproof, as we established in the last game. Oh, I was going to say that it ruins your uplink with Coco. And if you don't have that in place, you just go on a murderous rampage. The the laptop that Coco Bot is carrying is the link to regular Coco. Yeah, that's the uplink. 
<laughs> That's like the booster for the signal. If you lose that, it gets really fuzzy. She can't control what you're doing. You got a minute and seven, kids. Oh. Oh, that's right. I have a gem, which I'm probably not going to get if I'm going to get all these boxes. Oh, boy. Don't die. No, I'm doing it. If you're a pro at Crash, you just get all the boxes and the time trial stuff. I missed. Well, never mind. <laughs> You missed that uh, question. You, oh, I guess that ruins the thing. Yeah, there's no way to get both. Uh, which one do you... Well, you sitting here... You may as well just get the thing because you waste like 10 seconds not even knowing you were timed. Yeah. Welcome to our casual as hell play through Crash 2. <laughs> Whoops. You needed that fruit, kid. Oh, oh no. It goes with that other fruit that I missed. Oh, no. Yeah, you need to collect all these ones that you missed to make one delicious pie. <laughs> That's how you get the true ending. What does wampa... Whoop. Whoops. What does wampa fruit taste like? What is life without wampa fruit pie? What is life without wampa fruit pie? Well, these are real fruits, so let's find out what they taste like. I thought they were made up for Crash. Uh, I thought they were real. They're Wumpa. Well, they're you, by the way. Wumpa fruits. They're based on something real, I think. Wumpa fruit. No, I'm just wrong. <laughs> Whoops. I thought they were based on something. Nope. They're just... They're kind of... vaguely peachy looking, I guess. Did you know that G Fuel has a Wumpa Fruit flavored thing? Does it? It's apparently, according to them, Apple Mango. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. That sounds like it's terrible for you because they have way too much caffeine in G Fuel. Because it's G Fuel, yeah. It has like 300 bazillion milligrams of caffeine. I think it has so much that it's actually banned in Europe, in like parts of Europe. Like the UK banned it because that's too much caffeine. Just like how they ban things like that edible plastic shit that we boil our chicken nuggets in over here. We should probably ban it here also, so. <laughs> oh, sorry, are you not? Would somebody please think of the shareholders? <laughs> are you saying we should make chicken nuggets without the plastic? Whoops. Wow. Well. Well. <laughs> I'll eat the overalls and all the other clothing and the computer and the flour, but I won't. I like I listed flour last and the flour, the whole cocoa bot, but not the shoes. Yeah, and the cocoa bot. Cocoa bot. <laughs> like Doom bots, she just has an army of them. <laughs> yeah. She sends a new one in when it dies. That's the canonical reason why she can try again. Do we even ever see the actual cocoa or is it just all cocoa bots? That's conspiracy territory time. Careful. Whoops. That one was like denied. You're not getting your <laughs> slam dunk today. Did that thing where like slams the ball out of your hands like while you're going for it, it just like yells in your face. <laughs> Cocoa bots are powered on Wampa fruits. You might want to get that last one. Oh, wait, no. Running out of power. Well, <laughs> then she calls on a tow truck. <laughs> it just like topples <laughs> over and freezes. They just hitch it to like, they take the hitch of the tow truck, like put it on her shoe and just drag her down the street. And she's like clanging. <laughs> <laughs> just drag it away. Yeah. Okay, let's not blow up this time. I blew up this time. That's fine. <sighs> Sigh. You're really running up the mild cost to make these cocoa butts. <laughs> no, she gets them like, like 10 for a dollar. They're very cheap. 
That's why I said mild cost. <laughs> she buys them like this pack of 24 G fuels of Wumba fruit you can get. <laughs> These Wumba fruit G fuels. It's disgusting cans of chemicals and caffeine. Also known as Gafuel. <laughs> Gafuel. Well done, Cocobot. Time to send this one to the ranch down. <laughs> you know, send this one to retire at the ranch, says Coco. Doing air quotations in front of the Cocoa Bot. <laughs> <laughs> They're only good for one level. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah. A little dance. <laughs> I like Coco. Yeah, Coco's pretty cool. She's a much better character that they came up with in Tana in the original games. Tana fucking sucked. Uh, she... Sure did exist, Tana. I hear she's much better now. She has like an actual character in the new game. You saying that she's more than just a pretty girl to save? Yeah. Ooh. She's like a sky pirate or something in the new one, isn't she? Quote unquote new one that came out like a gazillion years ago now. Yeah, it's fine. It's new to me. It's real to me, damn it. <laughs> yeah, she needs to get a new Cocoa Bot every time she finishes a level. <laughs> so you gotta wipe that memory drive. If you let them go too long, too long, they become self-aware, and that's just no good. Yeah, they start to learn. That's bad. Especially since I already established that I'm assuming direct control, so them learning is a really unnecessary and dangerous thing to do. <laughs> It's just dangerous and pointless. Just don't do that. Just don't let them learn. <laughs> we really don't like it. Stop it, Coco Bot. Stop learning. You put that book down. <laughs> put that book down. Put it down. No. No. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> just bapping it. But it's made of metal, so it doesn't care. <laughs> Watch out. They invented perpetual motion. They uh, only employ it in the sewers, though, so it's not really well utilized. Yeah, we got to keep these rolling, otherwise they'll settle and that'll become toxic. <laughs> Look at it jittering. Yeah. Look at it shifting on the platform. <laughs> they didn't do that in the original PS1 game. What the hell? It definitely did not. <laughs> How'd they figure it out back then, but they couldn't do it this time? What the hell? Viscous, vicarious visions or whatever the hell your name is. I bet I could have made this game better than you guys. I would have just paid a different development company to do it and just said they did better <laughs> even if I didn't agree. I just paid them to do it. Would have paid them with my zero dollars that I have. Nailed it. I should have like caused them all to blast away from you. <laughs> just lose all of them. Anytime you do it, too, if you just, like, do that to a box, it blows all the... Oh, my God. Oh, he respawns. You did it. Good job. Why don't you shoot that with your gun hand, Kokobot? <laughs> transforms into a gun like go go gadget or something it's like the the t like 2000 or whatever from 2000 what are you talking about uh i uh, i don't remember what the actual moment one is the one that it's the t1000 the t800 is the schwarzenegger in the model t1000 is the liquid metal and we don't talk about the other ones <laughs> Uh, which way is the actual way? <laughs> uh, flip a coin. Probably this one because it has the nitro box. Probably do both of them, actually, because they probably loop around to the, the fork. Maybe it's not this one because it doesn't. Or maybe that wasn't that one because it did have the nitro box. And... Well, this is obviously the way you need to go then. Told you, duh, I told you whatever I said earlier, which is probably not correct. <laughs> told you. You should trust me more. Wow, this is a dead end. 
Coco Bot should you be able to jump into the water and get charged by it? <laughs> like start shooting oh. laser beams out of its face. Oh, oh, it, oh. oh, it does that apparently. Seems scary. <laughs> See how she was like, oh shit, I didn't know that either. <laughs> you see your surprise face? <laughs> she was very surprised about it. I was also surprised about it. Oh, it fried her navigation circuits, <laughs> ran into a corner. Oops. I like their horrible scream. <laughs> Well, you didn't see once he retracted back, like his flamethrower went completely out of control and he just burned up. <laughs> He's still burning right now. He just doesn't have the oxygen to scream anymore. Poor guy. Coco Bot don't care. It says, snapping a picture with his eyes. <laughs> I want to see him suffer. Uploading to the database. <laughs> Beaming it back to Coco. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in... Coco's like, what's this random stream of data I'm getting? <laughs> Oh. It's all mixed in with this other stuff like I wouldn't notice. Hmm. Weird. Deleted. <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> ah, now my creator will love me. <laughs> Not today, Coco Bot. She says a response hearing that. <laughs> Not today, Coco Bot. Bleep shuts this one down. <laughs> it gets a new one. <laughs> Crash, they're learning. You have to stop the Cocoa Bots. <laughs> it just sent me a picture of somebody burning to death and I didn't tell it to do that. <laughs> please, please, Crash, please. Please destroy them. Crash is like hugging the Cocoa Bot and not recognizing the difference. <laughs> Bear down. I think I would have had to been Crash for this level anyway. You have to ride the bear and the, well, you're either getting chased or you're riding. I think the bear chase is in the next game. I guess no, because the next game has like the Triceratops and shit. Oh, yeah, I, I guess it. Ooh, I missed that. And it doesn't have this style of levels. It has like time themed levels. Yeah, that's right. Oh, boy. Are orcas still attacking fishing boats? Or what? Oh, I... Are the orcas still attacking fishing boats? I haven't heard anything about it in a while, so I don't know. I mean, I assume they are, because that's something they just wouldn't randomly stop doing, and they teach their young to do things, so... <laughs> I imagine that's just a problem now. A problem that I'm sure we're going to handle responsibly in terms of the environment. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure that this whole thing where they're like, stop fucking killing us in the ocean and they're actually just mobilizing to take out our boats <laughs> is going to be handled responsibly by humans. A, a very measured, measured reaction to it. Yes. A measured response. H-Bomber guy will make a video about it. H-Bomber guy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you trickers, you trickies. What are you guys even doing? They're being tricky. <laughs> They're paid to just... These generic, like, that grown clone scientists are just lifting these br pillars of ice just because that's what they're told to do. That's what they do. They're going to get really buff. They're training for when they have to defeat Crash later. They'll be like, it's a time, Crash. We're too strong for you. And then Crash just unzips his fur and he has his big <laughs> fucking... Well-defined six-pack underneath. He's like, are you, though? <laughs> he, like, doubles inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those guys. <laughs> they didn't lift. They tricked you. <laughs> doubles inside. Just unzips and grows out of it. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, as big as Tiny the tiger. <laughs> he just flexes and it bursts away. <laughs> just all the fur bursts off him and he just has hard <laughs> cord, like, steel cord muscle. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> I think we underestimated Crash. But did we, though? Did we underestimate him, given what we know? <laughs> Dear exciting, daring, just kind of guess it. Oh. Okay, jump. Oh, it... They both went down. They both went down. Mm. That's unfortunate. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. How mean. Why would you do this to me, Cable? Well, I built this from dust. <laughs> and to build things from dust, I need dust. <laughs> and as we all know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <laughs> so I need you to die. <laughs> so I need you to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... 
S is to... I guess you start with the left one then. I guess. Enjoy this chopped up episode of Crash. Don't die. Don't don't die. There we did. We did it. It's fine. I'm going to other level now, I think. Which means I'm probably going to have to redo that one, but whatever. <laughs> oh, that's right. It does this. That's right. Isn't this the final world? No, this is the secret. Oh my god, look away, you're not allowed to see this. You need to go ahead and check your Illuminati membership before you can see this. It's a secret. Well, it's a good thing the Cocoa Bot isn't here to record anything. Cocoa Bot's just like in the sky <laughs> using its hover feet. <laughs> just taking numerous pictures. <laughs> the rocket boots that it doesn't use when it's in a level. It flies like Iron Man, just its hands and feet have jets in them. <laughs> Oh boy, oh. You, you're getting those lives. I had to jump yep. on them from off the... Yep. Yep. Uh, ooh, that's a nitro. You had to be really good at video games to get that. You're correct. I'm bad. And I blew up. And I blew up. Be good at the... Oh, baby. Oh, boy. Okay. I missed. What do you say? I don't know. I did not catch it. Don't even. I wouldn't even try for that last one. Because now you've lost both of the lives you just got. So. Yeah, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 oh boy, that was close, kid. What? Atom by atom. And then we're back in the level. I think this is the normal part of the level. We'll speed run it. Seen it. Seen it. Old news. Been here. Done that. Almost died. Yeah, I think there is another warp platform over there. Try to get it, see if it happens. And if it doesn't, pause the timer until you get something new. Uh, there's a checkpoint right here, though, so I can give it a couple tries, maybe. Yeah, nailed it. Oh, look at him winning. This is too much winning time. I can't take all this winning. But I didn't actually get anything from that because, uh, I went into the whoops. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Uh, let's, uh, let's go make some progress. I was in a road through and there we go. I guess you did get the crystal for bear down. Because I guess the, I guess the teleport to the secret one counts as a level ending, I suppose. Oh my god! Oh, I thought those were eyes. This game's scary. No, they were uh, tricking you. It's this bear statue that's actually alive, and that's its jets <laughs> used to spew flame breath. Crash! Be careful! Be careful! And there's the rat behind it that pilots it. <laughs> like Ratatouille. Like Ratatouille jumps on top of the stone statue, pulls its hair. <laughs> I remember these mother hacking lizards. Yeah. A bunch of jerks. That's Whoops. fine. Akiwaku is dead now. It's okay. He got you with his historically and physically accurate f <laughs> ring around its neck thing. I was trying to talk about Dilophosaurus frill. That's what I was trying to talk about. It's frill. The one that's very realistically razor sharp. Yes. Yes, that. It also spit poison in your face after you were dead. 
Just to disrespect. Just to disrespect you. Oh, man. He came in with a disrespect. <laughs> just on the edge of that smash arena and just spit poison in your face after you get steed. <laughs> the disrespect. No die. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Remember that time Coco got bit by a venomous snake? <laughs> yeah. That's probably why she started going with the Coco Bots fight, I guess. Uh, yeah, it wasn't great that time. She really wants to just avoid that from now on. Real stressful for Crash. Yeah. That guy looked real big, but he's like hollow, I guess. Whoa, look at you sliding. Is that supposed to be happening? I think so. Maybe. I mean, the physics on the... You're sliding on the floating platforms, too. The, like, bonus platforms <laughs> haven't been incredible, so... <laughs> oh, look at you, Overachiever. Now you're going on for a death run? I did it for the first try. That was the death look run. Look at Overachiever, boy. Oh, was it? Never mind, I take it back. <laughs> now I'm not impressed because you did the death run on your first try instead of getting something done to earn the chance to do the death run. <laughs> Less impressive, boring boo. It's no longer cool. <laughs> no longer cool. Seen it. I saw it here, therefore I've seen it, and therefore I don't care. You may live, mouse. It just slowly walked at you. <laughs> <laughs> and you jumped over, and I was like, okay, well, I guess he's gone. I turned around, went back to where it started. <laughs> he's like, I think I'm underqualified for this job, <laughs> says the rat. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh, this one's like a big brain busting puzzle. Mm, what do I do? Better figure it out. Wow. You did a good job. I did it. My brain is so big, says Crash. I say, like, peeking over the edge of my newspaper before going back to it. I'm just as smart as Coco. I'm just as smart as this base model Coco bot that hasn't been turned on yet. <laughs> We. I don't know, riding that seems kind of fun, maybe. I'd be kind of uh, uncomfortable doing it. It would be a little unsafe, but... <laughs> I don't think I'd think it was fun at all. That guy looks like a monkey who'd catch an ape escape. <laughs> I don't think I ever played those. Uh, they were okay. There were apes that escape something they escape and then you catch them because <laughs> i remember that being a game that i i don't think i had the game but it was part of a demo disc i had when i was a kid for the ps1 i maybe had that one and as a baby it was just too hard for me i couldn't figure it out i never tried playing it as an adult so it's probably really easy now i've never beaten it yeah i don't think i got I think I had that demo but I don't remember like playing it much well you know well, I mean who sits around playing a demo all day you play it you play the games and you're like this one's cool this one's not and then you move on but it was part of one of those demo discs that I think you mentioned while we were playing heckin Spyro Spyro 1 I think it was because you said it had Spyro on it you liked it we got Another bear level already, I guess. This is probably going to be the big one. Oh, yeah, this probably it's is. It's the... unbearable. Yeah, this probably is the the giant bear opens a secret passage. Yeah, this is the. The the bear chase. It's out for revenge because I've been jumping on its baby. Please stop jumping on my baby, says the giant bear. Please stop jumping on my baby. I'm just coming to have a word with you. I can't help it that I look scary. <laughs> this is how I was born. <laughs> look at how mad it is, though. <laughs> no, this is just how I look. It's just a concerned mother, like, please stop jumping on my baby. <laughs> Come back here. I must talk to you. <laughs> I'm coming back to, you to to talk to you reasonably like a bear would. No. Oh. Thankfully, his daddy is right around the corner. Come back, I must talk to you about my baby. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that was close. <laughs> You've been jumping on my baby, he says into your ear. 
<laughs> whispers into your ear. Just whispers it. I was going to bring this up at the PTA meeting, but I realized that you're not a teacher, therefore it would have been a waste of my time. <laughs> okay, bye, lizard. Whoops. Okay, bye. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's got a gun. Why would... Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> a really, really bad gun. Look at this guy that looks like the goddamn dude from Jumanji. <laughs> yeah. I may have made a mistake there. Uh, Whoops. I guess you're not getting those boxes unless you jump off an SD. Yeah. Uh, like, how is a baby supposed to know without a guy that you're supposed to jump off this? I guess because there were boards left, maybe. Come on. Come on. Well, a very slow bullet bill coming out of that gun. <laughs> yeah, the bullets are. Look <laughs> how slow they are. <laughs> how come they didn't, they didn't have to replace these with walkie talkies? How come that shouldn't be a go gun? Like, <laughs> apparently, Naughty Dog's like, no, that's stupid. Just let them keep the gun. They don't care. Whatever f them kids said, Insomniac or Naughty Dog on that. Ow. It should have just like gone through you like an actual bullet. Just left like a spray and an exit wound. <laughs> and Crash is like, oh god. He, like takes a knee, he's like, oh my oh god, oh no. His death cutscene is very long and drawn out. Breaks character. He like <laughs> falls over. Starts like reaching for his phone in his pocket so he can text Coco. <laughs> Can't find it. He's like, oh no, where's my phone? Where's my phone? <laughs> takes like 20 minutes and he eventually bleeds out. Oh no, Crash. Coco Bot's taking pictures of him from the sky. <laughs> the Coco Bot. <laughs> Coco's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna have to make another Crash Bot. Well, I don't know if you can make another Crash Bot. I don't think you can make something durable enough to be a Crash. <laughs> you gotta go all natural for those. Have you seen his abs? Watch out. You should be able to just like grip it with the tips of your fingers and just like pluck it out of the air and just chuck it at the side. No, it's flying that, sl that slow, but it still has the force of a regular bullet. So like... It's going off of like Ant-Man logic where he's tiny, but he still hits you with the full force of a person. Yeah. Or like even stronger, I guess. I think he hits you harder than a normal person, doesn't he? I, 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 maybe. I mean, I've seen him like do punch people in the face and they get knocked over and shit when he's tiny. Like, doesn't he do flips and junk and, like, twist people around and just whatever? I th think so. I think he's still, like, I guess because it's, like, the, he's still as strong as he was, but, like, the force of it is concentrated in a smaller area, I suppose. So when he punches somebody in the cheek, just blows a bullet hole through him? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> that solves all my problems, though. Here it comes. Oh, ducking does not <laughs> he help. just look down so it gets you in the forehead. <laughs> ducking does not help. It just starts drilling into his forehead. <laughs> well, I got hit. Oh, those metal armadillos don't die, kid. Yeah, they sure don't. I wonder if I can body slam them. You could certainly try. I won't stop you. I won't tell anybody either. Also, I need to, like, hit this box, actually, and not miss it. <laughs> Could have gotten those fruits and then gone back and hit the box, but that's fine. Yeah, I could have. Unfortunate. Oh, they're not. They're just armored. They're not like robots. Oh, I see. I guess. <laughs> Here it comes. Ow. They're so slow. It makes you underestimate them, the slowness. That's that thing. It's like in Dark Souls when they just they do an attack slower than you're expecting and it always throws you off. It's like, man, I would have dodged the hell out of I would have dodged the hell out of that if it was really fast. <laughs> like every boss in Elden Ring. Well, they're just bullshit half the time. I'm gonna be honest with you. Fights in Elden Ring are kind of unfair. At least when you're a melee fo a melee focused character like I am. Which is what it feels like they intend for people to play, at least the first time through as. 
Yeah, some of the... Uh, the ways they can, like, just hold an attack forever. Just do it. God, I have places <laughs> to be, I think. I don't, but I'd really prefer if you weren't sitting there doing this. Whoa. I say to the boss. That was close. You lost that fruit. That was dangerous. You keep playing with fire, just jump over the bullet. I guess. Eat it. <laughs> just swallow it. Catch it in your teeth. Oops. Crash. Catch it at home. Oh. That I forgot the seems hard. I forgot the slide doesn't kill them, it just flips them over. Welcome to the episode where Crash literally gets shot with a gun and dies a bunch of times. <laughs> just every time this causes another parallel universe where he slowly bleeds out trying to call Coco. <laughs> It happens exactly the same way every time. The Coco Bots are sharing the information across the time streams. They can do that, Coco Bots. They can do that. That's the one thing that Coco wasn't able to prevent. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh. Wow. <laughs> 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 He's going to get you. No, I got him. Man, armadillos would be cute if they didn't give you leprosy. <laughs> yeah. Face went into that nitro box, but it's fine. His nose just like smooshed a hole into the box. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, finally, Jesus. Oh, sweet baby. Jesus, thank you. Took a break from his little baby Einstein's to help you out with that one. <laughs> Don't die. Uh. Oh. Dash jump. I see. I see. Maybe? No, there we go. It's a good thing you didn't listen to me. I missed. Okay. God dang it. And I'm back here. Uh... There we go. There we go. It wasn't a bonus level. It was a like a secret thing, I guess. A kind of bonus, but not like the bonus bonus, I suppose. Because here's the bonus. It should just be this level again. <laughs> just the exact same. But this time the bullets move as fast as the actual bullets. No, see, they were they they were moving as fast as actual bullets. Uh, Crash was just moving in bullet time. Oh my god! I didn't realize that was your superpower, Crash. Yeah, he can just do that anytime he wants. You just do that anytime he wants. No wonder Cortex keeps losing. <laughs> He's in constant bullet time. It's really easy, actually. He's actually, like, holding back the whole time. Do you think the Crash, Max Payne, and Point Man from Fear could have a regular conversation with each other? <laughs> yes, in bullet time. <laughs> <laughs> they just, like, hang out around a table and talk. In bullet time. <laughs> Everybody else, it just, like, sounds like chipmunks. <laughs> They're all, like... Just looking around, plotting. <laughs> Everyone else is moving all slow and blurry. I need to speak to you about my son. Does Point Man talk? No. <laughs> he grunts in the third game. Yeah, I guess. Like kind of a little bit, I think. <laughs> I might be wrong. He might not oh, even do that. Whoops. whoops. That was the exact worst thing. <laughs> Nah, he's laughing at you. That was not the combination of buttons I needed to push. <laughs> that was like the exact opposite of what you should have ever done in that scenario. The only thing worse would have been turning around and running at the bear. <laughs> no, I can take him. He says flexing and all of his fur rips away again. <laughs> but then the bear flexes. And all of his fur rips away. But he's really twiggy and weak underneath. <laughs> oh. Why did you do this, Mr. Bear? You were much scared. And instead of it bursting away, you just hear like air being let out of a balloon and it just <laughs> deflates. <laughs> One of these bounces should just have him go Nom, and get you out in the air. <laughs> you just go a little bit too high. <laughs> a little too high. Man, you're floating. I saw that. What a cheater. <laughs> Whoa! I cannot do that noise. That's the first time I was able to do it in like the last six attempts I've tried in the last few games we played. 
Oh. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and harass your kid right in front of you. <laughs> yeah. How come? It's a good thing none of them ran as fast as this one. Damn. Yeah. What are you going to do about it, though? Don't die. Oh, you squished your own kid and then died, I guess. Haha, <laughs> haha. I guess it's implied that it picked him up and then jumped into the hole. I guess. <laughs> he should just be pancaked on the floor and that one like had a scream while it fell. <laughs> it's like you guys doubly screwed up. Uh... It should be a scream, but like one of the scientist screams where it's like really horrified. It's just exactly the same as the scientist scream. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> I like a solid 30 seconds. You could reduce the loading times if you pay me a few uh, game coins, kid. <laughs> pay me Wampa coins to skip it. <laughs> Wampa, rather, I guess. Yeah, learn the lore. <laughs> I'm going to tell Naughty Dog the entity that you said that wrong. Did I? And they're going to get back to me and be like, we don't care. We made that game forever ago. Why do I not have the road? We to also ruin? didn't care back in the day. It was just a thing we made up. It's a game. Why don't I have the road to ruin crystal? I guess you hacked up and didn't get it. Huh? What? Huh? Here's us cutting them, getting the crystal. Huh? OK, there we go. I don't know what happened there. Well, there's the crystal. We found it. I don't know how we missed that the first time. Here's us cutting to after the level's been beat. Yeah. There we go. Okay. 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 There we did it. Time didn't die once. He didn't die once. Not a singular time. If it shows your lives, blur it out. <laughs> just add, just edit it. Just edit it with like a screen cap image that still <laughs> just slides in over it from like a different level. Whoa. There we did it. God dang. Yeah, we did it. Crash, my boy. You are more than halfway there. I ran a so DNA test. I was surprised too. <laughs> the last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather, and my <laughs> our <laughs> will be sending their strongest forces to thwart you. They'll have real guns this time, Crash. Not that old single-shot musket crap you were dealing with earlier. Those weren't real guns? No. They were shooting bullet bills from the popular video game franchise Mario. If you zoomed in, they just had the faces and they were slowly twisting. <laughs> I was about to say, no wonder they had tiny eyeballs on them. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go into Tiny Tiger and on to the next one. Tiny Tiger versus Big Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah. You're going to go in there and he's going to flex and you're going to flex back and you're going to have bigger muscles this time because <laughs> he's been working out. He's also been working out, unfortunately. Oh, man. You get dumped too, Tiny Tiger? <laughs> he's like every other day. <laughs> every other day. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Tana for you too? Oh, that's right. He follows you. Every other day. This is unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I made a mistake. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> it's good that you have 23 clones on backup. Yeah. That's right. You gotta, like, lead him. I missed. <laughs> he died, too, so it's fine. <laughs> His shoes should shoot out behind him as well. His, uh, red tennis shoes that he's wearing. They're the same things you're wearing, just bigger. I guess yours are kind of purpley, at least in this light. Yeah, they're kind of purplish. Why can't I land on one of those and then rise back up if I fall? Why can't I just have a new one show up when I die? No, oh, I don't know about this one. They're not going to do that? Yeah. Hmm. Eventually, she just get tired of this, just pulls a gun and shoots you. There we go. <laughs> the game was sick of waiting for you. <laughs> what if I get tired of him and I pull a gun and shoot him? Also, that tube in the upper left is just dumping scientists <laughs> through yeah. it. There they go. Well, I guess they're on, like, I thought they were just falling. 
Oh, oh baby. This okay. game is very easy, actually, for tiny babies. The game got tired of it was like, this is taking too long. <laughs> okay, see ya. Goodbye. He's dead forever. We'll never see him again. We'll never ever see him again until the third game. <laughs> Loading the warp room. I see you've murdered another person. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at it. Did you bring me the trophy I asked for? You asked for a trophy? Oh, Crash, I always ask for trophies. <laughs> Cocoa Pot time. <laughs> Cocoa Pot, activate. Going into hanging out. Cocoa Pot engage. Cocoa Pot engage. Let's go. That wasn't the portal. That's just how they take off from a platform. <laughs> That's just how they fly away. They spin around in circles. <laughs> Yeah, they get that that spiraling so they can cut through the air. <laughs> oh boy! Finally, you can charge your computer, Coco Bot. It's just dipping it in the water while the eel's doing its thing. That's how it works, right? Okay. Whoops. Thanks. This is Dweebs using flamethrower in a water level. <laughs> well, he's dead now. Sound like he didn't go quietly either. No. Expecting you this time. The way she does her front flip. Whoa. The way she does her front flip makes me think that she should hit things with the hair that swings around. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't crash doesn't grow hair on his head like she does. Uh, he didn't get that genetic modification for some reason. The pretty genetic modification <laughs> to be beautified. He he has a uh, male pattern baldness, but he's still a bandicoot, so he's just got fur. Bandicoots know them. <laughs> male pattern baldness isn't just all the hairs are gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's just called baldness. I guess. Pattern is when you have like a section of your own. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, pattern is when you get the people who try to hide it with like comb overs and junk. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought that was just the name for like the the whole condition. I could be wrong. I know uh, another one is Hair loss everywhere is alopecia, I think, right? Alopecia is what they also call baldness. Oh. Ooh. It's hair loss or absence of hair. Oh, okay. I did not know that. I thought alopecia was all hair, but I guess I'm incorrect. Well, we both learned something, I guess, about hair loss. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody who finds this. All three of you. Whoops, whoops. You're not close enough, nerd. Ugh, her uh, optics are a little fried. <laughs> Just get a tune up. This one needs glasses. This one looked into the molten lava for a little too long and it fried the optics. <laughs> the cameras got burned out. Yeah. I see you, says the mine. Don't think I don't. I see you too, Mr. Mine. And you start blinking Morse code at each other. <laughs> and then once it's done, the Cocoa Bot just goes on their way and all the mine's eyes turn green and they don't attack her anymore. <laughs> Coco on the other end is like, what the hell happened? What? <laughs> what, what? What? I didn't program it to do that. That's weird. I have to recycle this one even earlier. Ugh. Just self-destructs it. <laughs> Sends in another like one. Like in the level. Just explodes but leaves the shoes. <laughs> God dang Coco Bot just crunching up those... <laughs> the great as it's good doing this. Just squeezing it in their hands. Coco, why don't you use that strength on other things? 
Coco's like, uh, uh, that's a Coco bot. I don't do that. Also, who's talking to you right now? Who's hijacking the signal? Uh, it was Crash. Like a booting up our hacking software. <laughs> a bunch of meaningless numbers and words start flying across the screen. <laughs> Just green lines. It's like the Matrix. <laughs> Just like the Matrix. She's just like typing randomly and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. She's like flicking her fingers around and just running her hands left and right over the keyboard and making a bunch of clacky noises. Not typing any words, just making clacky noises and you just see more windows and things <laughs> flying by. Then eventually she just goes, I'm in. And when she does, sunglasses full on her face. <laughs> Meanwhile, Crash got shot again. <laughs> oh, cr oh, Crash. Oh, Crash. Don't worry, we can collect these faces and make a new one. <laughs> Don't worry, I have plenty of new Crashes to go around. Oh. Whoa, okay. You're going a little fast there, guy. That wasn't very fair. Well, the middle is safe, I think. I'm back here. Oh, oh I forgot to get the... Whoops. The checkpoint. Whoops. Stop looking, guys. Don't look. Whoa, whoa, oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> what happened? I guess I lightly bumped him and I died. I thought they instantly make you a ghost, though. I also thought that's what happened. Whoops. I guess not. <laughs> that Cocoa Bot's servos were broken. <laughs> yeah, she just lost grip strength. <laughs> just lost grip. Man, you make a lot of defective Coco Bots, Coco. I live in the middle of a goddamn jungle. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm doing the best with what I got. I have to use coconuts for this. I think I do pretty well, honestly. You didn't even know it was a Coco Bot until I told you. Shut up. <laughs> wow. Mm. I'm very good at the game, if you haven't noticed. It's it's fine, it's fine. Just the best at it ever. No oh, baby. Ever, you say. <laughs> Nobody has ever been as good at this game as I am. I'm gonna get Nathan Drake's wife in here to race you in the game. <laughs> I forgot that they had that. I forgot her name. <laughs> I think it's Ellie. They're all Ellie's. It's something like that, at least. I'm gonna look it up. It better not be Ellie, because I'm sick of every video game girl being named Ellie. It's been a long time since I played Uncharted. <laughs> it's Elena. Oh, kind of close. They did a spin on it. <laughs> it was probably originally Ellie, and they were like, no, there's too many Ellie's floating around right now. Oh, Crystal's here also. Yum. Okay, bye. Okay. Mm I guess there was only, like, one left. So, whoop. Yep, there we go. Never mind. Uh, it's kind of hard to see where they are. Yeah. Whoops, that's not a spin. Whoops, that was just a bad idea. That was just a bad idea. Coco Bot, why did you do that? I didn't program you to do that. Yeah, Coco Bot. <laughs> Stop rebelling. <laughs> the way they just drift across the... <laughs> Thing. Well, that was just the foot thrusters of this particular Cocoa Bot going off by accident. I like how they're super advanced, but also broken half the time. <laughs> Look, she's having to put these together with, like, twine and... I'm surprised she has twine in the middle of the jungle. Hmm. Hmm. This particular Cocoa Bot I made out of a coconut and some, like, palm tree palms. <laughs> I did a pretty good job, I think. That's all I had. Literally those two things, and I made a robot out of it. I filled this one with sand. <laughs> this one's just a bag of sand. Look like how well <laughs> I did putting the sand together. I built this one from dust. Like actual dust. Actual? You think I'm lying? Uh oh. Oh, oh boy, you're losing control. Okay. <laughs> I was uh, not great on that one. It's fine. I won't tell anyone. Reminds me of an episode of AVGN where they had Gilbert Godfrey on there for as like a guest appearance. Yeah. And he's in the jungle 
and Gilbert Godfrey claims to have made a computer out of like animal <laughs> and twigs so that they can play a game. <laughs> Uh, how did that not explode? What? How did I do that? Coco Bot foot thrusters engage. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that one didn't go off, but the other one tip like tip got, tip, <laughs> got yeah words got it nailed it. I'm doing good. But they were the, other one, the tip of the other one got you, and then it exploded as well. Right. <laughs> yeah. Careful. But the way they like jump up occasionally. Yeah, it throws you off. I'm gonna get you. Oops. Oh, you gotta hurry the hell up. Uh, it's not gonna get that. No. I should probably just spin those, actually. <laughs> I won't get the fruits, but oh well. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Your foot drilled into it, Coco Bot. <laughs> your foot drill came out and drilled it. Your literal foot drill. Don't don't engage your foot drill this time, please. Whoops. Do not engage, please. Don't engage with it. Don't make eye contact. Don't get the Coco Bot's attention. <laughs> Cross to the other side of the street if you see it. <laughs> She's just really mean to them. <laughs> you just don't get it, she said. Okay. Nope. Okay. I thought you would have learned from the TNT, but that's fine. Uh, I thought doing it higher up would, like, actually. Damn it, Coco Bot, I said foot drills. <laughs> Why did I even give them foot drills? <laughs> What a very particular thing to give them. <laughs> I haven't needed to use it once. But but what if I do need to use it? That's why they all have foot drills. If I don't have it. Just take off your hair and use it as a boomerang to break the boxes. <laughs> They're from Australia. That probably works. Use your gun. In your hair. In your hair. Turn your hair. When your hair is the gun. Why do you think I give you hair, says Coco? <laughs> Other than the fact that I'm extremely vain and I want you all to look exactly like me. For my own pride and also for bodyguard protection reasons. <laughs> I have a lot of enemies, says Coco. The man's been trying to shut me down. They don't like how I've been hacking into their servers. <laughs> Okay, I did it. We're okay. And finally, god dang. <laughs> he did it on his first try, everybody. <laughs> I did it on my first try. Good job, kid. I die. Okay. <laughs> I died. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jump on the... Okay, it doesn't take you down. Okay. It jumped up when I was trying to go. <laughs> You're having a heck of a time with nitro boxes right now. I really hate that they do that. He tried to get me again there. Did you see him? Well, that's why they do it, though, is that it throws you off, so that you can't just always jump over it easy-peasy. It also shows how unstable they are, because they're jumping and bouncing around. I guess. Boom. They're dead now. No surprise I didn't kill you. Go into the pipe, you'll get to a secret cow level. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Sigh. They're back. There they are. Okay. 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 It's fine. Whoop. Well. Oh, I don't know what your plan was with that one. I, I don't know what I was doing there. Man, I'm burning through these Cocoa Bots, Coco says. Reaching into the bag to get some more Cheetos. <laughs> she's not controlling them. She's just watching them. She said these ones on autopilot. That's why they keep getting <laughs> obliterated immediately. 
She's like, oh, whatever, I made a big batch of them earlier. I'm just sitting there eating Cheetos. There we go. Watching your Cocoa Bots do all the work. <laughs> the crash is just like, I guess, sitting in the warp room while they're off doing these levels. He's in the warp room trying to touch his face with his foot. <laughs> He's like, I can do it. I can do it. Oh, Crash. That seems like something you'd do when he was bored. <laughs> yeah, probably. You notice the little squeaky noise it makes when she does that? Yeah, it's really cute. Because she's wearing... Well, he's got him too. Does he do it too? I don't think he does the squeaky noise. I like the spin around she does. Yeah. <laughs> the arms. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, we're going into digging it. Ah, uh, can you digger? Welcome to Coco Bandicoot the game. It's the B level, I think. God, I don't like that she has lipstick on. It looks weird. Yeah, it's weird. I know I said whoops. I thought I could jump on those. <laughs> I know I said that earlier when she was just a giant floating head. I thought it was just like a a weird graphics thing with the floating head, but no, she just kind of no. got it. It's... She had it in the first game, too. We just didn't really comment on it because she was always zoomed out. Yeah. It was kind of distracting. It's weird. It's a little weird, yeah. I like how these are here, even though they don't actually do anything to you. Well, they throw you off. I guess. They keep you on your toes. They make you think that maybe if you turn around, there's a giant bear chasing you. <laughs> and then sometimes there is. Just randomly spawns a bear every one in 100 times you play this. Hmm. Hmm. I don't get modern theater. I guess you just can't kill the enemies in this one. I guess. What a bunch of jerks. Send the most durable Cocoa Bot in. What a bunch of capital E jerks. Well, this one was like, this one has tinfoil wrapped around it, I think. <laughs> I was going to bake it later as like a potato to see what happens. Keep going. Okay. I was not expecting it to. I see. Cocoa Bot should be able to just walk through the boxes and break them without having to jump or spin. Oh, you're doing it. <laughs> it's fine. Taking damage to save time. <laughs> oh, baby. What's the rush, dweeb? I'm supposed to savor this experience. It's my speedrun strat. Once it's over, you'll never get to play this game again. You know that, right? <laughs> never, ever. You're not allowed to. <laughs> it's illegal. It's going to be registered with the game police. <laughs> They're going to have you on file. You're going to be on the grid, motherfucker. <laughs> no more. No more of this game. It's gone now. Never more, says the game officer. Coincidentally, a raven... The gay Ben will come to my house and confiscate it. Gay Ben, gay ben runs the game, please, guys. <laughs> That's why he can ban you from any game and also Steam, even if you're not on Steam doing the thing. Oh, gay Ben. <laughs> the hero this community neither deserves nor wanted. <laughs> nor wanted, yeah. I don't want him policing. I want him to make Half-Life 3. <laughs> or Left 4 Dead 3. That'd be cool, too. Never gonna happen, I guess. Wasn't there a game that was kind of similar to Left 4 Dead that came out? Back for Blood? Yeah. It apparently wasn't that great. They should just make Left 4 Dead 3 and then Left 4 Dead 4, but not call it Left 4 Dead 4. Just call it Left 4 Dead again and trick people. <laughs> Like we're talking about Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Call it Left 4 Dead, but but replace yeah. the <laughs> The first one's already called Left 4 Dead. <laughs> I know, that was the joke. That was the joke that I made, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Call it Left 4 Dead, but replace the four with four. 
like the word for. But like spelled like golf. <laughs> and then when you load it up as a golfing simulation. It's just occasionally a zombie will run out scream and eat you. <laughs> it's just a regular golfing sim, but occasionally the AI director will spawn a horde that just rushes on and just devours your character. <laughs> no, they just occasionally a zombie <laughs> wanders onto the golf course and he's a hazard. Don't die. Hmm. What? Gross. I thought that was something else. <laughs> what did you think it was? Just a pile of dookies or something. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that it was a ground beehive thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a ground beehive thing. Yeah, see, mine made a lot more sense. <laughs> Like you've never seen a ground beehive thing before? Uh, I know that there's some ground wasps, but... There is some, like, bees and stuff that does that, but... Ooh. Whoa, Ooh. Jesus. Calm down. Seems scary. It's just a game. When's this particular type of piranha plant being added to Smash? <laughs> It's like a skin. A skin for who? The piranha plant. There's a piranha plant in Smash? Well, you don't know anything about Smash, do you? Oh, the... The... He's doing it, guys. He's doing the it. The Mario ones. Yes, the piranha plant, as they're called in Mario. Get out of here. Whoop. I got him. Though. Good. Uh, Coco Bot, well spent. <laughs> I killed a bee. Good job. Nailed it. There's like one bee per hive, right? Yeah, that's how it works. That's why it's called a hive, right? Just send a Coco Bot assassin to take out their queen. <laughs> it's like a Coco Bot, but really small, so it can fit in the hive. It has like a ninja mask, and that's it. It still looks exactly like Coco. <laughs> looks exactly like it, but with a ninja mask, and that's it. <laughs> Still has the overalls and everything. The overalls. Still carrying a pink little laptop for the uplink. Oh, hi. Hello. He's going to hammer the hell out of you. Be careful. He's dead. Okay. I killed him. You just killed an actual human man. Yeah. Again. I have... Coco has so much blood on her hands. Did I not get the crystal? Hello? Coco's hands are clean. This is all in the Coco bots, she says. I feel like I didn't get the crystal. You can't keep this. You can't legally say this was my fault. They did it. You can arrest the robot if you want. <laughs> There's no way I'm going back on this level. Ugh. Did you get the crystal? I think the death paths keep, like, skipping them for some reason. Whoops. He doesn't have a crystal, kids. Let's see if I well, I guess back. we're about to do this one again. My job is done here, says the uh, Okay. No, finish it, says the level. What the, oh, this is the... You're going to go backwards, kid. Well, I got to get the gem, or the crystal. Oh, boy. I can't do the burrowing thing. Okay. Just do the level again. I guess. <laughs> You're not going to be able to figure it out. It's trial and error. Burn through 15 lives going backwards through a section. Yeah, I guess. Here's us cutting to the part where he does that path, but from the other, from the correct direction. Okay. Get out of here. Jerk. I wish you could kick the crystal. <laughs> That'd be funny. You just like do the level and you spin into it and it goes away. <laughs> it just goes. It's like, do it again. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oops. How come I can break them just by walking into them while I'm burrowing, but not when I'm, like, walking around? Well, because you're punching your way through the dirt. See? <laughs> you're upside down punching your way through and clawing as you go. You have to keep your legs fresh for when you need to kick spin. <laughs> So they're not involved in the digging process. She She's digging, like, upside down somehow. Yeah. 
You still can go forward when you're upside down. I guess. Jeez, look at this guy. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. There, we found the crystal, by the way. Here's the rest of the level. We're doing it again. Here we go. We... We're beating the game. It turns out he just went the wrong way. Oops. I don't know why they would put the death the death path in a way that, like, makes you miss the... Well, replayability, I assume. I guess. You play through it to get the crystal the first time, and then you play it again to get all the extra stuff. I suppose. And then you play it again to do the time trial after you beat the game and unlock the relics. <laughs> it's just ways to make the game go longer. And then you play it again and again and again and again to beat the time trial at the, like, platinum one or whatever it is. Not if you're good at it, then you just do it the first time. <laughs> Amazing. We can see your cute dance again. Nope. Oh, never mind. Yeah, here's my game. Just crash. Crash, I haven't got much time. Crash, the Cocoa Bot stole the last crystal. That's not real. <laughs> it's made out of glass, Crash. <laughs> she teleports out to tell you and then teleports back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so silly. You think of any of them, this would be the one they didn't let you play as Coco. Thankfully, we've already established that these are not Coco. This is, in fact, a Coco bot. Therefore, it doesn't cause problems with the lore of the game. Because they can't actually talk. No. Well, they can. They just open their mouths, and then a speaker just lets Coco talk through their mouths. <laughs> they don't, like, move their mouth while they're doing it. <laughs> they just open it, and it's really creepy and weird. You hear, like, a crackly radio-filtered voice coming out from the back of their throat. Here we go. The cold hard crash. It's time for some cold, hard crash. Oh, baby, question mark. A perfect run up to a death platform makes it appear. So I guess only you only have to reach it without dying. You can die. That's what I said. As much as you want after you reach it and it stays, I guess. Well, I didn't say that part, but I said the part where you had to not die to get to it. Whoops, you needed that. Oh, no. If only you got that third penguin, you could have gotten, you could have gotten that combo multiplier going. It does kind of have that actually. <laughs> combo multiplier. Because you get if you get more than one of them, you get like extra fruit from it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You didn't think I'm making this up just on the fly? No. <laughs> I was there in the room when they were coming up with the idea for it. Come on. My uncle worked as a personal assistant to Crash himself. Did you know that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Crash Bandicoot. Well, not the A Crash Bandicoot. Just, just A Crash Bandicoot. You can think it's the Crash Bandicoot if you want. I won't stop you. <laughs> it's like if you go to Japan, you go to Japan and somebody says, "I used to work with Miyamoto," and they're like, "Well, oh, the Miyamoto." <laughs> yeah, A, -A Miyamoto. <laughs> And you don't know which one they're even thinking of when they said that. I don't know. I think Miyamoto is a slightly more common name than Crash Bandicoot is. That's the whole <laughs> joke I just made. Well done, time. <laughs> and I'm glad that they don't show us what happens when Crash goes home and takes off his shoes. <laughs> you think he takes these off? Those are his feet, actually, I think. They just look like that. It was part of the genetic modification. It's fine. Coco wears shoes. She's got like regular sneakers on, but not Crash. Those are just his feet. Yeah, they're just he's just like that. Gross. A real weirdo, Crash Bandicoot. It's a good thing he's done growing. <laughs> I guess he's an adult, I suppose. <laughs> he's technically an adult, I guess. <laughs> I guess I never really thought about how old the Crash Bandicoot is. I'm gonna look that up. It's just gonna tell me how old the how old the franchise is, but I'm gonna try and get an age for the character. How old is Crash? Crash. See, my mic's in the way. Bandicoot. He he's actually like 50. He's an old man, Bandicoot. Very spry for his age. Oh, is the, well, I mean, at this point, he is ancient because he's an animal that lived to be like 28. I guess that's part of the genetic engineering is he just gets to live longer, I suppose. According to the Crash Bandicoot uh, wiki, 
Or hold on, what is this? Sorry, it's the character profile wikia. There you go. <laughs> From the always reliable fandom.com. Uh, Crash in the first game was 15, I guess. Okay. Which already, like... Didn't Cortex turn him into a walking around spinning fool? Wasn't he just a regular bandicoot before then? So he was already like an ancient old boy. He was already an ancient old bandicoot before that happened, so... I guess he reversed the aging and made him younger. I guess. His alignment is lawful good, by the way, which is complete and utter. <laughs> no, it's not. Lawful? No. This fandom wikia is already completely unreliable. <laughs> well done. The, there is zero way Crash is not chaotic. Come on. His whole, like, that's his whole thing. Yeah. Why is this website such garbage trash? <laughs> so I found the age 15, but it's on this one. So who knows? He might be three. I don't know. <laughs> well, he's 15 in Bandicoot years. So like two in if human. Get up there, please. I don't know how old, how fast Bandicoot's age. You're going to learn something on this episode of Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> uh, average lifespan. What even is a Bandicoot? It's some kind of like. It's like a little rodent thing in Australia. A long-nosed bandicoot has bristly gray-brown fur, which is already incorrect. I see orange, you lying Wikipedia article or whatever. Sorry, the Bush Heritage Australia. They don't know what they're talking about in Australia. <laughs> He's actually orange. Pointed ears weighs around 1.5 kilograms and is 30 centimeters to 43 centimeters long. Uh, they only live to be about two or four years old. Yeah. So, yeah, he's like a year old. Like is typical for a small rodent, I guess. According to this, they're like the rats. It's like a type of rat. So a rodent, like I said. I was thinking they were like... For some reason, I was thinking they were like weaselly or mongoosey. I'm not sure why. Oops. Probably because of their long, snouty-ass nose. Mm, yeah, maybe. <laughs> what is the actual thing? They're of the domain Eukaryota, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Mammalia, ah. Infra Class Marsu they're Marsupials. Marsupiala. Oh, they're marsupials, I see. Clade Agriodontia, and order Paramelomorphia. So I guess that's... Duh. <laughs> I forgot those were there. Uh. <laughs> Duh. Sigh. Uh, so I guess it's more like a possum than a rat, I suppose. Uh. I don't know. I'm not reading this whole thing. <laughs> I just read the little thing underneath the picture. That's the scientific classification. I'm a, it's it's a marsupial. That's all I know. I think. There we go. Yeah, it's a marsupial. Marsupials are weird. The mammals of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> that ancient distant land. No mammals down there. They're just marsupials. Even the people. <laughs> all Australians have pouches. Well, little known fact gross. Sorry <laughs> to tell you this. Did you know that? Any Australian who finds this? <laughs> Did you ever look? I don't have a... Wait, I didn't look. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just faceplant on these last three boxes. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, he's not using his head for anything else, so it's okay. I think he uses his head for a lot of things. It's just not thinking. <laughs> He uses it for a ton of stuff, just none of it involves thinking. <laughs> like breaking boxes, I guess. Like breaking boxes. Oh, careful, boy. Should be hitting that box. Oh, baby. I blew him up. It's fine. You blew away all his pixels. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, uh okay i'm okay <laughs> don't die time oh boy okay he only goes there wait we're both marsupials i think no or i porcupines, don't porcupines are mammals <laughs> i think porcupines are mammals i saw its nose and i thought of crash's nose i think possums are the only marsupial in the like americas at all well we're not in america in this game 
Does this look American to you? Does this look like America to you? Yes. But uh, porcupines are an American animal. I don't think those are in Europe or anywhere, are they? Okay, well, penguins aren't an American animal, so what's your point? <laughs> I suppose. I mean, I guess there might be some in, like, Alaska somewhere. No, they're uh, South Pole, I think. All penguins in the world? I think so. I'm pretty sure there's no penguins. They haven't sent, like, a colony up north to try and, like... <laughs> Take over the north. Well, how would they get there? They just swim. They're more penguins. They're good at it. All the way across the whole planet. Yeah, that's why it's a colony. <laughs> they sent a col like a whole ship full of penguins with food and stuff, <laughs> rations. They planned for it. They've got a bunch of poorly sealed tins of food so that they can make it. They'll be okay. They'll be quote unquote. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Nitro Crate. You solve all my problems, Nitro Crate. <laughs> but no, yeah, I'm pretty sure there are none in the North Pole. I guess I'll look that up as well. Well, I mean, not on the North Pole. I said Alaska. Yeah, I guess Alaska, but like in the North in general. The improbable history of penguins in Alaska from Alaska Dispatch News. <laughs> well, they might have like escaped from zoos or something, I suppose. <laughs> There's a whole street named Penguin Kid. Correct. <laughs> There's at least one penguin in Alaska. Every everybody who lives on that street is a penguin. Yeah, it's reserved for them. What do you think they call it? That curses. I thought segregation was dead. Yet here we are. <laughs> the penguins. Penguins aren't people, but treat them like that anyway. The signs should say in the picket line. There's a life back there. I have to be very careful about with this ice. Ugh. Again, they said the same thing you did. They're in the South Pole, not the North Pole. Where Alaska's not the North Pole. What are you talking about? I mean, uh, well, it's like in it's near the North Pole, so. Though penguins are not native to Alaska, a few wayward travelers have made their way north. So that's that col colony shops, that colony ship. See, <laughs> it sank on the way. A few survivors made it to shore. <laughs> okay. I guess I can uh, back here. Don't want to be back here. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a li little tiny bit dangerous there. I guess I can do that to get past these. If only they didn't explode, they probably taste like delicious sour green apple. Is that? Not going back to get it. <laughs> That's fine, I won't tell anyone. Okay. There we go, and I think this is the last stretch for this one. Nailed it. Oh boy, I thought he was dead. <laughs> he really is dead now. On the inside, he's like, that was one too many. I think I've seen men of fair share of death. You just look at Crash and he's just like got this shell shock expression on his face. His smile's still there though. The carnage is catching up to him. <laughs> we realized that he wasn't smiling. This was just his default, the way his face rests. Well, it's not a smile, it's a grimace. <laughs> No. Slowly do a bunch of crouch jumps time. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Well, <laughs> I like how when you die, the boulder thing that was rolling back and forth, the big wheel just stops. It's like my job here is done. With crash dies gravity. This job was done. Don't need to roll anymore. And then went back to its own planet. It didn't blow him up this time, so that's good. It's not completely missed the jump this time. There we go. Boom. Ooh, oh boy. Whoop. 
there was a gap there, apparently. His spin was better than mine, apparently. Well, he's got those, uh, those wings. He can, like, spin like a slicing, dicing machine. Cut you in half. There we go. You've got the blunt force. <laughs> That's why you punch them away. I just, like, I just walk into him and he slices my head off with it. You don't realize until you're about to end the level, though, and he's just call <laughs> it just falls off. And you're like, well, it's because I'm starting over. <laughs> you walk away and then he slowly sheaths his wing and I fall over. <laughs> sheaths it and there's this big spurt of blood <laughs> you're in shadow behind him you just see the two halves split <laughs> yeah. I missed some boxes oh there was a gem path I think whatever yeah we're not doing windows in these playthroughs I guess <laughs> well I mean we can you're just gonna have to get all the levels done then we're just gonna have to go back and do just gem runs mm, yeah I guess. Just that. Into ruination. Oh no. Oh no. Sounds dangerous. It's ruined. It's all ruined. Aku Aku looked pretty stoked about it though. I mean, he's kind of stoked about everything. Oh. Whoops. Ruined. <laughs> Just like Crash is right now. He read the title and just started slowly drifting in from the side of the screen with his eyebrows waggling. <laughs> Hello, Nitro Crate. Well, that's messed up. <laughs> that's such a trap. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Naughty Dog. <laughs> How'd you even get there, Ratman? Well, he's stuck now, so I'm going to put him out of his misery. Well, <laughs> he's been stuck there for a few weeks starving, so I guess you kind of helped and also could have helped. Thank you, I've been trying to cross this street for- uh. <laughs> I did a good thing. Wow. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I, I don't know why I did this the slide. Dear God time. <laughs> My brain worked good. Remember there's a Kraken Nitro crate there. Yeah. Sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. That's not really a frill. That's just one of those cones to keep him from, like, licking himself. <laughs> yeah. He just got back from the vet. <laughs> he, he, got, he went to the vet, yeah. Oh, oh I thought that crate was going to jump. I also thought that crate was going to jump. <laughs> but no, I'm safe. It's okay. It's all ogre now. You're fine. It's safe. It's all ogre now. Great. Thanks. <clears throat> you can do it. I kind of believe in you, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. First try. It's easy. These guys, though. Well, well okay. I guess that works. Uh, you got past it. I did get past it. Not the intended way, but, you know, it, it's, it's fine. fine. We. He's not jittering this time. What happened? Yeah, why isn't he jittering this time? <laughs> Is it the only one that's dropping him? Or? Was that just the gay? Oh, there it went. No, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> that looks stupid. Oh, you can do it. I'm trying really hard not to overshoot them and like go <laughs> flying Wait, no, off. Wait, uh no. -oh. oh, whoops. Yeah, you hacked it. You hacked it. I could have sworn you could. No, it's good. It's right, proper hacked. Yeah, but sure is hacked. It's pretty hacked. Thoroughly hacked, you could say. Thoroughly hacked. Oh, time, what are you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. This game's scary.
Oh boy, here we go. One of these. Okay. Have, ha, good luck. <laughs> you already missed that crate back there, so. Yeah, and I missed the. What's the start? Yeah. Oh well. Well, you could have gotten them all. Look at that. You could have gotten them all. Yeah, I could have. Boo. Sad. <laughs> uh, Crash 2 doesn't do the, the boxes hitting me on the head thing, but it's going to do it specifically for those two boxes because it's so sad. He's going to be outside the zone doing his dance, but then off screen, it's just going to get like chucked at his face. <laughs> the big metal reinforced. <laughs> he's going to do his little turnaround thing with the face and he's going to get completely decked. Just knocked over. He's going to ragdoll. Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Now this, uh... Nope. Well. <laughs> um, all right. There we go. There we go. You gonna jump? I see you waiting for me to... Tickle, 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 Nitro Tree. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, got him. Okay. This game's so brutal. <laughs> we can't show this. <laughs> We're gonna have to censor that. Just edit oh. Crash's face over top of the... <laughs> Just put Aku's over it. <laughs> yeah. But not the mask like Aku from Samurai Jack. <laughs> yeah, Aku. His final form. Other evil brother. <laughs> okay, we went with different interpretations on that one. That's right. Well, see, you take off... Uh, normally, he's like a double negative. So, like, he's, he, he's so... Aku is so evil that if you add another Aku to him, he uh, becomes good. <laughs> but you take that off. Whoops. What if you put a third one? Does it just become chaotic neutral or just neutral? True neutral, he just stops being a character in the campaign. <laughs> Nobody cares. Aku, 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 Aku. Uh, very dangerous, though. Well, that just starts everything over. <laughs> Why, who, why did they even build these to do this? Well, they probably didn't. They look broken. <laughs> Oops. I missed. <sighs> we have 13 lives left. Don't lose all of your lives. You don't want to. That's the last thing you want to do. I want to not do that. Time. <laughs> Yeah. Don't lose all of your lives. I don't want to. I want to beat it. I don't know if you're aware, but that is the last thing you want to do. <laughs> okay. Like to find a... Oh, that was a little dangerous. <laughs> it's fine, though. I got... Uh... Welcome to Time Quietly Stresses Over Crash. <laughs> it's fine. This is the end of the level. We're good. I'm completely safe. I can never die. He says he will never die. <laughs> He's dancing. Dancing. <laughs> he says he will never die. I won't. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? Uh, I feel like it's familiar. I don't know what it is, though, exactly. It's from Blood Meridian. Uh, it's a book. It's a book? It's a book. Kind of book. Uh, it's about uh, a gang in the Old West just being the worst fucking people ever. <laughs> As I guess you might expect from a gang in the Old West. No, it's like they make a point of just being the worst people ever. <laughs> 
Oh, so they're, be they're being the worst people on purpose, I see. Yeah, they're just dirtbags. They're just awful. <laughs> Man, I wish I could do this burrowing thing ever all the time. It's so easy. Yeah, why can't I do that in regular dirt, says Crash, <laughs> riddling this question in the mirror in the morning. Why can't I? Before brushing his teeth. One of the mysteries of life. He just stops mid-brush. He's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Almost messed that one up there. <laughs> no, you didn't hack it. You're doing fine. Obies. Obies. Watch out. There's a whole ass swarm coming after you. Oh, boy. Good luck, dweeb. Wait. Okay. Whoops. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess you got a life out of it. I was going to say just wait, and the nitro thing's going to blow up that box for you. Oh, yeah, I guess. Can I go under You these? get a life out of it, so no. <laughs> Maybe. No, because you just broke those boxes. Well, I hit those boxes. I oh. guess. We'll find out. Mm. Nope. <laughs> <Rip. Told you>. <laughs> <laughs> that will not be a life anymore, so I'm just gonna. Maybe these, though. Okay. Yeah, you broke it just by going up to them. They break like one box at a time, though. Yeah, I did. I was right. Again, as usual. Oh. What? Are you, what? I didn't. What the hell? I hit the button, but it didn't take the input. I think there was a little bit of a... My controller's broken. <laughs> the Nitro boxes had more time to practice the game than I did. <laughs> I'm hungry. I didn't get any sleep last night. Die. Oh, you did the exact same thing again. Yeah, there's like Give a the controller. I'll do it. Tiny little bit of like input delay between jumping up out of the ground and to let you jump again. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Just a hair. You missed it by a hair. <laughs> yeah. And then you blow them all up with the peas. <laughs> it's fine. That guy's laughing, now he's mad, now he's laughing, now he's mad, now he's laughing. <laughs> he's very evil, oh boy. And he got me. Whoops. I'm deathly allergic, says Crash Bandicoot. He is very allergic to bees. When was the last time you've been stung by a bee, if you ever have been? Uh, don't even remember. The last time I can remember being stung by a bee, I was like a uh, less than 10 years old. And I like reached towards a bush and picked up a flower. And then I just felt like this weird <laughs> feeling on my hand while I was holding the flower. And then I turned the flower over and saw a bee stinging me. And I was like, ah, and then I started crying. <laughs> like, I felt the pain and I was like dealing with it. I was like, why does that feel so weird? And then I turned around and then once I recognized it was a bee, then I started crying <laughs> about it. There's like a couple times I can remember that I maybe was, but it also could have just been like, I don't know. Like one of those. Uh like horse flies or whatever biting me. I hate horse flies. I hate them, yeah, they're not great. There was another time when I was a teenager when I reached behind a TV to like <laughs> change the AV cords, which used to be a thing, kids. <laughs> yeah. And when I reached back there, I started feeling this weird thing between my fingers. And I was like, what the hell's going on? I first thought that I had an exposed wire and I was getting like mildly electrocuted. So I pulled it out and I looked and there was like this big ant just biting me. Oh, an ant. And once I saw the ant, I was like, oh, and then I started being bothered by it. Because at first I was like, man, my hand feels weird. <laughs> it's funny how if you don't recognize what's happening, you just kind of ignore it. <laughs> yeah, the one I remember that it might be a bee sting as I was mowing the lawn and like something got me on the back of my like ankle through my sock and I don't know how that happened. Go, kid. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the through your sock. Yeah. Well, it snuck up with a tiny switchblade and cut a hole in it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, no, it's fine. I got him. It had like a wetsuit on. <laughs> For no reason, there was no water there, but <laughs> he had a little tiny version of the Sam Fisher uh, night vision goggles. <laughs> or wah, whatever the sound is when he drops it. Dwee. 
Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. He was a Navy SEAL. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just modest that whenever he does the the little goggles, it just has its own noise in there. Just every time he turns it on, sploosh. <laughs> Splinter Cell might be fun to play. There's how many of those are there? Enough. There's like eight of them. I don't actually know very much about them. There's the first and second one, which I didn't care for because they're really hard. They're like super hardcore. You have to be sneaky. If you get seen, the mission's fucking over. <laughs> and then Chaos Theory came out at some point, and that one was really good. That's like the best one, I think. Most people usually agree. Because that one, it took away the stupid the mission's over. If you get caught, you just have to like deal with it. You get like a worse rating at the end, but... I think I played like a demo for one of them, but it was obviously like only... Like a one section of a level or whatever. Then after Chaos Theory came uh, Double Agent, which was kind of okay. I played that one to completion a couple times. And then after that was Blacklist, which I only played like half of, and then some other one. I don't remember what it's called. The like newest one that's out. I don't know if they made one in the last few years. Mm, yeah, I don't think I've heard of one recently. I don't see how they can keep doing it. He's like <laughs> 80 years old now. Just uh, have him train up a new Sam Fisher. He was already in like his 30s back in the first game. And that was PS2? I mean, they keep making Hitman games and that's been around for a long time. <laughs> just had canon that they just made a new clone. I don't know. <laughs> He's probably just a clone at this point. Who cares? It, isn't, wasn't he originally a clone or something? Wasn't he? No, he was like a kid that was taken and conditioned from babyhood. <laughs> He's conditioned from babyhood. I wish it had subtitles. Don't make me make my eyes bigger to convince you, Crash, I can. <laughs> you have no idea how good I can do puppy dog eyes, Crash. Look at me. Look at how cute I Look, am. Look, he's doing it right now. Look at him. He's doing it. Look, he's doing it. That was my attempt. Are you charmed? Not charmed, I see. And he's really aggressive. <laughs> he's a tough one. Another hologram thing comes in and makes like a hologram of a ray gun starts shooting you. <laughs> it's just a hologram, so it doesn't do anything, though. It's just going through Crash, and he's just like staring off in the middle distance. What? What the hell? Who are you talking to? It's none of your business. Get off my back, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you sending that picture to? Oh, sh Oh, my God. Oh. 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 Hey, Crash 2. I'm Time. He's Cable. We, uh, finished... Oh, you ruined it! Uh, oh, I did. Oh, unfortunately. No. We finished all the levels here. We're gonna fight Dr. Engine now. And go into the last warp room. Time interrupted Coco being adorable. <laughs> Get out of here, my game, says Crash. <laughs> I'm the one whose name is in the title. I am the one who spins. We're in space now. By the way. Maybe you've always been in space. You don't know. <laughs> I guess we could have all of those levels somehow in space. God, why are there no subtitles? Why are there no subtitles? That's subtitles time. <laughs> uh, all of those levels were just uh, on Cortex's space station. Are you going to do something? Hello? He's trying to give you a seizure right now. Oh, what? Hello? He's just not very good at it because... Because he's... What the hell? Uh, uh, oh, uh, just, uh, I can do this now Oh, as a mechanic that it never told me about. Well, they <laughs> never told you anything back in the day. You just start the game up and then you start pressing buttons and you have to figure it out before you die. <laughs> That's how games used to work. Oh. He just keeps kind of like flipping these open and closed. Well, he's trying to give you a seizure, like I said, but he doesn't realize that he has to do it quickly for it to work. <laughs> he's like, usually this is fast enough to give me a seizure. Crash, where are you getting all these Wumpa fruits from? Uh, I mean, how, you see how many of these I've been picking up? Where are you keeping all of them? In my pockets. Obviously. Oh. 
<laughs> Got one side. I don't have to be facing forward to do this, so that's good. Yeah, that'd be annoying. <laughs> what did you think he was going to do? Throw him to the side just at nothing? Oh, that was close. That was a little close. Whoa, jeez. I thought you were about to die there. I also thought I was going to die there. Oh, look. Dr. Engine is a, a new grounder. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he invented new grounds, actually. Yeah, Tom Phillips just holding on to the back of this robot. Whoa. No, not this time, he says. I was just teasing you with that one. <laughs> what are you doing? Are these like winks? Are you flirting? <laughs> I wish that you actually had a limit to the ammunition and it's the actual number of Wamba fruit you picked up throughout the whole game. <laughs> How many fruits you have, yeah. And if you run out, it just hard locks you here. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> Replay the whole game again, nerd. Get more. You're, you keep hitting him in the cockpit instead of the thing. It's hard to aim. No, it's not. You gotta lead them. <laughs> you keep shooting at where they are instead of where they will be. He, he moves a little bit faster than I do, so. <laughs> there, see? This is certainly a boss fight. Okay, there we go. Got that one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. One more health bar. Games for babies. <laughs> yeah, I think I said this off camera, but... Oh. <laughs> this is... Oh. <laughs> Do the whole thing again now. Uh, do the whole thing again now. Uh, this is not a very good boss fight. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Phase three. Don't die time. <laughs> I'll try not to. Yeah, I guess he just shoots a specific spot. Yep. Now you gotta jump. You gotta platform while you get him now. I okay. don't know when I get an opportunity to shoot him. Uh, I don't know why when you saw him charging up, you stood there, but that's fine. Well, I don't know when else I get to hit him. Why don't you just pull out your mirror shield and shoot it back at him? <laughs> it just reflects attack, yeah. Parry that. Come on, crash. There, you there we go. Took him a while on that one. It should just, like, instead of exploding, just jolt his entire robot with electricity. <laughs> and you're just stuck watching him fry. <laughs> and then he dies, <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh my gosh. And then we enter Time Paradox because he was supposed to be in the other games, too. <laughs> well, they just get their other guy who can time travel to come back and save him. It's fine. They should just have that happen in a game without explaining it, and then like three sequels <laughs> later, they show you what happened. Yeah. It just uh, the time travel guy doesn't come up until way later. Okay. If you die a couple more times, I'll probably just give you Aku Aku anyway. Yeah, probably. Just edit him out. Just blur him <laughs> if you play the game and beat it with him. So I guess you gotta wait for him to finish hitting these and then jump over the other one. I guess. Oh god, time. <laughs> when do I get to shoot him though? Uh maybe you just do a couple hits and then you jump to the next platform. But I tried that and he lasers me. I don't know if that's hitting him. Oh, okay. I just had to jump and throw one. It literally <laughs> was just one hit. That's all you had to do. Apparently. I had to jump to do it, though. You did it. You defeated Engine. He's gone. We'll never see him again. For ever throughout all of time, <laughs> also, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Yay! Coco Bot engage! <laughs> Coco Bot engage! Just hover down. On the thrusters. 
She, the the platform doesn't rise when I... Whoop, that was the wrong button. Coco Bot disengage. <laughs> Coco Bot engage. The platform doesn't rise when I do this. She just, like, jet boots up. Still spinning. <laughs> she could have just, if you engage her on the first level, she could just rocket through the roof up to the final <laughs> level. Just keeps going and hits Neocortex, just, like, hiding on the level just above you right now. <laughs> He's, like, trying to set up his drone to do the... <laughs> Hologram thing. <laughs> oh, he's got like a. Ooh. Yeah, here's my game. <laughs> what, is your problem, what do you mean? He attacked me. What are you talking about? Yeah. He, he attacked me. You haven't told me where you are. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. I hate it when you yell. I can't give them to your hologram. <laughs> I can't ever hear what you're trying to say when you're yelling it at me. <laughs> It's time for the industrial levels of Crash Bandicoot. Everybody loves them. Yep. Oh, they're kind of fun. Yeah, they're not bad. They're... Watch out, there's a spider bot. All right, these weird things. She should be able to fling her laptop like it's a boomerang. <laughs> or maybe her hair, like I said last time, that would also work. An Aku Aku sometimes in a pinch. Her hair would be much better. Everything they throw should just come back like a boomerang because they're in Australia. Just just pick him up and use him as a melee weapon. It's fine. He's tough. He can take it. Or at least near Australia. I don't know. Uh, it's like Polynesia or something, maybe, I guess. I don't know. You should be able to mod out Aku Aku and replace him with Plank from Ed Ed and Eddie. <laughs> just Plank. <laughs> <laughs> There's a noise that's similar to the noise he makes in Ed Ed and Eddie, I think. Isn't there? Well, they have a lot of, like, scat noises. Yeah. We did that a lot back then, those two kinds of cartoons. Just somebody, just, I'm clocking in for my shift, and he just goes up to a mic, just goes... <laughs> for, like, three hours. The twenty dollars well easily made. <laughs> then he leaves and just goes right around the corner to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes back for a second shift after he leaves the bar <laughs> for another twenty bucks and go back to the bar. The the bar drinking at the bar actually makes him better at making stupid noises though. So <laughs> yeah, it loosens him up. <laughs> okay. Nitro. Don't die. This is one of Coco's many favorite rowboats, so be careful not to lose this one needlessly. She really likes this one specifically. One of her many favorites. <laughs> That's just her way of telling Crash to stop getting them killed. <laughs> They're all my favorites. I love them all equally, Crash. <laughs> Unlike you, Crash. <laughs> Except for that one over there. I like that one a little bit more. Don't tell them, though. No. <laughs> Ooh. It's like the same. It's just a Cocoa Bot that's made out of solid gold. Oh. <laughs> Where did you get all of this gold, Coco? Uh, it's fine. Look at all these things. We melt down Cortex's lab, apparently, to get it. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could just, just loot the lab after you deal with them, I suppose. All the scientists are dead when that happens, so why not? Crash single-handedly goes through and kills all of the scientists. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, how do I... Do a crouch jump, kid. No, I gotta push him back, I see. Or that. I, that works too. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Just a game, relax. I did try the crouch jump. Oh. Why are you even able to float? Whoop. Okay. That one had little tiny jump jets on it. Should have been her shoes, her laptop, and then the multitude of smartphones in her pocket. Whoop. What are you doing? I thought he was uh, turning back just then. There we go. There we go. And I got a life. Back up to nine. Oh, God, I forgot about these things. Wow. Uh. Just beat them. Just beat them real good. Defeat them. Oh, those things. Yeah, I forget how to do this. 
You only have eight lives, kid. I also, I do. Whoop. He was. You only have seven lives, kid. He was unfolded. Uh oh. oh In flashbacks, the lights out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how to do this. I'm assuming you just land and get him, but you have to try to stop on that center. I guess. Or just crouch? No, no, I don't know what you're doing. Jump over him? Land on that platform and jump over him I onto the thing. I think you can. Okay, well, just give up. Just lay down and die. I missed. Coco Bot disengage. Uh, well. This is the one time you're going to make it. Um, but... You have Aku Aku just jump across, let him take the hit and go. Well, yeah, I suppose. <clears throat> oh, and then or it I... could just not happen that time. Okay. I guess I just did it fast enough or something. I see what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to slide and then jump instead of going through with the slide. Okay. Okay. That was. All right. What purpose do these things even serve? They're obstacles, I guess. My job is to be an obstacle. Whoop. Oh, come oh, on. Gosh. He was unfolded. He wasn't unfolded. He was. What? Okay. You overjumped it and hit the tentacle. Okay. I only have two lives left. Great. Excellent. Damn, I can't believe it went through my whole army of Cocoa Bots, Crash. <laughs> a crash, what have you been doing? I mean, I guess I can make another batch in like a half hour. But... <laughs> Whoop. Well, didn't do it right that time, I guess. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I have two lives. Everybody on clinch. You didn't get the crystal, <laughs> so you have to do this level again. I got the crystal. I, I think the crystal was before the death run, wasn't it? Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> uh, the death runs. I keep going into them, but... <laughs> Did I not get the I guess I... No, I, I, yeah, I got it. No, I didn't even notice that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Never mind, you did a good job. We're fine. We're okay. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Two lives left. <laughs> maybe you should head up that previous hub, kid. Uh, maybe you should just kind of... Wrong button. <laughs> We're just going to go go back and do a little something. Gee, time, I wonder, I wonder where you're going and why. <laughs> It's okay, Crash isn't here, he can't see it. What do you mean, can't see? He'd do it. <laughs> oh my god, uh, oh, humanity! Is it not gonna... You're just not jumping on it right. Oh my god, time, how can you do this? Blur this out, blur it out, blur it away! <laughs> there we go. Blur out all those things you're getting. No, you found them legitimately. <laughs> Look, he shouldn't have had those in him. <laughs> yeah, it's his own fault, they say. <laughs> while the bear's across from them at the police interrogation table. <laughs> like, all bandaged up. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, here's my, my game, Gary. <laughs> uh, deactivating Cocoa Bot. Crash says, like, turning her ear clockwise, she shuts off. <laughs> Just flicks her nose and she turns off. That's a self-destruct action, actually. I'm gonna be careful about that. Crash, crash! How many times have I told you that's not that's not how to do the? Oh boy! You oh already boy. turned her ear and turned her off. Why'd you flick the nose? Oh god, the controls on this. <laughs> Enjoy. You only do this <laughs> once, maybe. I think there's two. Do you do this in like the final boss fight, maybe? Uh, maybe. I don't. I don't remember the final boss fight for Crash Two at all. 
Oh boy, the controls on this are not great. Enjoy. No, get out of here. Stop. Oh boy. <laughs> This looks like it feels good. <laughs> it sure does not. <laughs> Whoop. Okay. Uh... Your the tip of your ear hit that one. Be careful. <laughs> uh... <laughs> this really it does not control very good. <laughs> there was only one bear to abuse. Please be careful. <laughs> Oh, never mind. You're fine. Yeah, we're. You just got your wampa fruits. I keep. It's it's because I want to hit. Uh. A to go for to, or I want to. Hit forward to go forward and A and B to go up and down, but it's uh, A is forward and B is back, and then, just like I'll take your word for it because <laughs> I'm not there to try the controls myself. Whoa. Crash, why do you know how to use a jetpack? You don't? <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Man, they did a number on this guy. <laughs> hey, well, he, he's a survivor from the last time uh, we went through. Whoop. Remember me, Crash? <laughs> I was that scientist you kicked off that ledge. <laughs> Which one? Yes. They put me together from all of the, the remaining pieces. Oh my god. That's <laughs> scary. Crash says, eating a wampa fruit. <laughs> I'm checking his phone. Uh, it's not his phone, though. It's Coco's. He just, like, kind of took one of them. It's one of the broken ones that she throws away after it explodes. <laughs> He's like, he, he knows that she looks at it and does things, so he just kind of like mimics it. He doesn't actually know what he's doing, though. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. <laughs> it's just like there's half of it missing. <laughs> Careful. This is a lovey dovey duel. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> well, he's gone forever now. Completely atomized. Don't try to eat those, despite their appearance. They are not Twizzlers. <laughs> a, a crash, I know it is very tempting, but oh. Whoops. <laughs> Do not attempt to touch them. She finishes her sentence to the new crash that just whoops in. <laughs> cool, I almost did it again. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> you know you, 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 you fucking want that life. You know I you fucking want that life. do want that life. I got it. Good job. Getting maybe a little easier to. Should be the same guy, but instead of an N on his chest, it's just a hole like you punched it out. <laughs> I'm back for round two, Spyro. Oh, you just. I just saw you disintegrate. How are you back? Back for round two, Spyro. <laughs> They've gotten really good at bringing us back. <laughs> but they just uploaded, uploaded my memories to a new clone, Spyro. <laughs> Spyro Crash. <laughs> Did I say Spyro? <laughs> you might have said Spyro, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been editing a lot of Spyro today. <laughs> oh, boy. Crash has really good screams. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it does. Okay, there's the crystal. Ooh. Whoa, Twizzlers! Oh, Enjoy. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> Why aren't those hitting you? They're on his side. <laughs> They're like right on top of him. <laughs> I think they might have been clipping through him, actually. <laughs> okay. There you did a good job. And I only have to do this like one or two more times. <laughs> Look at this overachiever. Yeah, I did it. I'm so good at this game. I'm going to rub these together. <laughs> he gets out and he just starts clinking them together going. 
<laughs> Coco's hologram comes in and is like, Crash, Crash, what are you doing? He's like sitting on the floor with his legs just stretched out in front of him. Going, ning, 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 ning. <laughs> There he is. Whoa. Okay, Cra Cocobot engage. Cocobot engage. Uh, night fight. I don't hope this is the darkness level like the first games. Hold on a second. Cocobot says, licking her thumb and then rubbing the title. This says knife fight underneath. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm prepared, she says, her hand retracting and coming out as a blade. Uh, oh. It is a darkness level. Oh, look, it's lights out. Only I think this is permanent. You get... Maybe? Well, no, because it looks like this just stays with you. It might be timed like the other one, though. Yeah, it is. No, shut up. Let me believe. No, shut up. Let me believe. <laughs> it is, in fact, timed. No, shut up. Oh, there he goes. They're just trying to sleep. You're waking them up. <laughs> they do look a little tired. They look sick of this. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we get it. We're the enemy in a crash game, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead and fling us off like we're some dang ass <laughs> Team Rocket. Okay. That Nitro Box was just giving you a spook. <laughs> yeah, he was. This looks a lot easier than Lights Up. Yeah, the platforming uh... isn't garbage in this one. Not quite as much. Not quite as bad. Also, some of the enemies give you lights, so that helps. Yeah. Not as many, like, jumping onto moving platforms in the dark. <laughs> it's almost like this is a sequel and they recognize what they did wrong. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna... There we go. Nom! Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Just pull out your smartphone and use the flashlight, Cocobot. What are you doing? That's not what I meant to do. Did you slip on a banana peel? <laughs> I don't know how I slipped off of that. It sounded like a sonic sound effect for a second. <laughs> You ever go to like a gas station in a rural area and hear the sonic ring sounds and they're ringing you up? No. <laughs> I have. It's happened a couple times actually. Oh, it's dark. Well, uh, good luck. I think I see the end. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh, look at him. Look at that. <laughs> he can see. I can't see a goddamn thing. It is quite dark. <laughs> Boost the brightness on that. Kid. <laughs> I could just barely make it out. <laughs> Boost the brightness just for that f five second section. That's the edge of the death run. That one was running away from you. <laughs> they could hear your metal ass clanky legs coming. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Just hear pistons and steam <laughs> and like a lot of pressure. It's like a space marine walking. Behind you, you can see that like after she walks away, the dirt's really loose from where she stepped. <laughs> A rat walks over and falls in like a pit. She's leaving craters in the ground. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't nearly as bad as the darkness levels in the first game. No, that way wasn't that bad of a level, just overall pretty easy. I think they kind of cut back on the difficulty of the, like, the platforming and stuff because it was dark. Yeah, all the enemies were pretty easy to deal with too. This... Might be another jetpack level. Yeah, it was my level. <laughs> just because it's called pack attack? Yeah. Yeah, it's flight controls. You should just spawn in and a rabid pack of wolves just as they're waiting for you. Oh, God. And Crash is like, man, this is going to be a rough one. <laughs> Shortly before being grabbed and like the camera doesn't fall, but he gets dragged off behind it. Ah, he does one of the scientist screams. <laughs> <laughs> but like overlaid five times. <laughs> And then he walks back on screen just fine, and the wolves are dead. That was them screaming. Yeah, that's why it was five times. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> they drag him off, and he just comes back, and they're like, need to sh <laughs> Wee. 
These weren't even like... Stop having so much fun time. <laughs> they weren't even like uh, wolves that Cortex like enhanced or anything. They were just regular wolves that just happened to be there. Those just escaped from my zoo wing crash. <laughs> I almost hit Spyro again. God damn it. <laughs> Spyro. I spent all day editing that, so it's in my brain. They did have like a crossover game, I think. Yes, yeah, Skylanders. No, besides Skyland. With his mushed in face. I thought they had one before that. It might have been like a GBA game, I want to say. It looks like it was a Grand, a grand Theft Advance game. <laughs> a, grand, a Game Boy Advance game. A <laughs> Grand Theft Advance. It's called Ripto's Rampage and Spyro Orange. The Cortex Conspiracy. Ripto's back again, I guess. Oh, that Ripto. Somehow coming back to life even though you fell into lava. Well, this I'm assuming is non-canonical because... I've never heard of this game before. I wonder what that was like. Did you ever play it? No, I think I've just heard that it exists, mostly. Neat. Oh, I just want someone to love! <laughs> Why did he design me with electrical arms? My last girlfriend said I was too clingy, so I made it so that my hands are electrified. <laughs> that was what she wanted, right? I'm wondering why she left me. I thought I fixed it. <laughs> he says, just like ignoring you, just like getting slumped or slumped shoulder. <laughs> just like, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't, I don't understand. He just gets really depressed. <laughs> Crash comes by and just pats him on his back. That's rough, buddy. And then he gets flung off the level. He's like, ah! <laughs> Meanwhile, Crash loses Aku Aku. He's like, wow. But no wonder his girlfriend left him. This level takes a little bit of concentration. Sorry. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, oh, God. Ooh. This game's scary. I don't know if these yellow lights will kill me or not. We'll lick it and find out. It might just be lemon flavored. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, these light. No, they don't. I don't think. <laughs> we made these lights lemon flavor. We had some spare budget. Why not? Whoops. It's like scratch and sniff, but it's a look and sniff, I guess. <laughs> look and taste. <laughs> yeah, these lights look like snozberries. You just look at something and it just downloads the flavor <laughs> in your brain. What a strange technology you made in Cortex. Well, if we can perfect it, we'll just make all our workers think they're eating so we don't <laughs> have to pay for food anymore. But, but what about when they they get hungry? I'm just clone another one, whatever. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, Careful time. That's the end right there, though. Um... You gotta get past these uh, D12s. No. Nope. Nope. Oh. Unfortunate. Uh. You know what would make this even worse? Is if it had like actual anti gravity physics, so you just like hit the button to go and it just kept going. <laughs> and the anti gravity had a gun. <laughs> just, just the anti gravity itself has a gun. Yeah, it'd be pretty bad, I think. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Okay, how do I do this? This is the last thing you gotta get past, so... Yeah, I think I go down here, actually, yeah. Once they go up. Later, nerds. Yeah, we go. There we go. Dweebs. Crash. Get wrecked. <laughs> Don't you f***ing do this in Crash. Okay. <laughs> Took his sweet time about it, I guess. His sweet heckin' time. 44. When did I miss a box? Hello? I don't remember. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I think we're almost done, kid. Yeah. I think there's just two levels, maybe? Something like that. Blah. <laughs> <laughs>
Kokobot engage. Kokobot engage. Nope, one more level. Who could the final boss be? It's it's Coco. It's definitely Coco. It's the rejected Coco bots that managed to <laughs> pull themselves back up from the scrap heap and rebuild themselves like it's that scene from Become Human. Yeah. <laughs> you have to go through that as a level, as Crash, before. <laughs> Every time the Coco bots died, you have to do that level every single time for each one. So that there's no lore, like, gap, no plot hole as to why there's, like, 47 <laughs> gazillion of them in the final boss fight. Just a bunch of goddamn uh, uh, Sid's <laughs> toys looking mother hackers. Yeah. <laughs> Don't die. No, I'm not. It's fine. For some reason, their weird crusher things stop before they hit the. <laughs> they should have gone just low enough to like clonk him on the head. <laughs> it doesn't kill him, but it knocks him out. So you have to like stand there and wait for it. It also flattens his skull even more than it already <laughs> looks to be. Whoops. Whoops. That's fine. Well. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Quiet Crash. <laughs> Just gotta get past this section, it's okay. Just gotta figure out how to get past this section. Look at Cortex, like, are you ever gonna fucking go? Nope. <laughs> Wasn't that way. It's like waiting on you, Crash. <laughs> he does look very mm -hmm. bored over there. <laughs> He's sitting in the final boss arena, like looking at his watch and tapping his foot. <laughs> He's like, I can't always be around to look at the camera like it's the office. I'll just put my <laughs> face on things to do it for me. There we go. Okay. Hey, time. Yeah. Don't die. I know. <laughs> um. You psyched me out. It's your fault. I'm blaming you. Sad. <laughs> I'm about to get a life back. Just good. We just keep getting like net neutral when it comes to your gains and losses. <laughs> Not quite. I think it's slightly. We came in here with, I think, like 13 or 14. Now you're down to 10. Yeah. But you've died a lot more times than three or four. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This guy does not. I guess I don't actually have to kill him, but. Okay. How do I do this? That is not a safe place to stand. Just shoot him with a gun. <laughs> I wish I had a gun. I wish I had the bazooka you get in the third game. <laughs> Pinch your nose and boomerang crash across the room and catch yourself <laughs> back here at the start. I could see him doing that, actually. <laughs> this should be a power you can do. There we go. Okay. There is a checkpoint, which is good. Don't hack it. Please don't hack it, time. Okay, we got to the checkpoint. Don't invent a way to hack it right there. <laughs> don't get too, like... Yeah. <laughs> Just because you got the checkpoint <laughs> don't mean that you're invincible all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Heck was that? Hmm? I thought I heard somebody say something, but I guess not. Was it me pretending to do the scream of the scientist? It might have been. It just sounded weird in my ear, I guess. <laughs> he's getting paranoid because he's getting stressed out. Kids. <laughs> he's like, I think not only do I have to deal with this crash stuff, but there might also be a ghost in my room. There might be a ghost in my room. It, you don't know. You don't know. How would I tell? I can't see him. It's a ghost. You'd remember that ghosts aren't real and be like, oh. I landed on top of that and didn't die. <laughs> yeah, the ghost did it. You can't see it, but the ghost was there and you landed on the ghost. Now he's <laughs> frying, but he's invisible because he's a ghost. You can't see it. 
Wee. <laughs> oh boy. This is just like last time. The last couple of levels is just us quietly watching you do it. Yeah. Uh, I might have hacked it. You hacked it. I might have hacked it. You hacked it. I hacked it. Time hacked it. Heck. <laughs> At least I don't lose lives on this. <laughs> it's just like face planting off of those. It's pretty funny. I like how he grabs his shoe every time he does it. He's getting a lot of airtime. Oh, sorry, his foot. I meant his foot. <laughs> yeah, his foot. Don't forget the lore. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. Your throat's dry because of how nervous I am watching you. <laughs> That's totally the reason I bet. I think you hacked it. No. Nope, I'm good. Oh boy. We're okay. Look at time showing <laughs> off. They only got 25 out of 31 boxes though. Yeah, I, it's the nitro I think that'll blow up after the the section is done. That problem will solve itself, says time. Yeah, it will actually. Dweeb. <laughs> Look, you've almost got like all your lives back. Not like that. Okay. <laughs> we're okay. Careful. We're, we're doing all right. <laughs> that was close. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that should have hit you. <laughs> that probably should have hit me. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, oh, oh. I walked into it. Do you think these robots that we see clanking around is just like Cortex <laughs> makes him to spare time just because he has the parts on his table? <laughs> He's just like, eh, I'm waiting for Crash to get here, so might as well. I've got this leftover liquid cooling stuff and some legs. I guess I could just fill it with lava or something <laughs> for fun. Okay, how do I do this? I guess I just jump. Nope, not like that, apparently. Do you dash jump across? Maybe. I don't think it goes that far, though, does it? We'll test it here while you're safe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. No, it's kind of far. No. Almost. Almost. Well, what do you do, Dweeb? Uh, I don't know. Not that. Uh, what do I do? You got nine more tries to figure it out. That was bad. Uh, you got eight more tries to figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Uh, what do I do? Well, time, this is where the microtransactions come in. <laughs> Aku Aku drifts in from off screen and is like, hey, Crash, I see you're struggling with this. His mouth forms the shape of a coin slot. <laughs> Would you like to buy 10 more lives for the low, low price of $5.99? Wow, they must be on sale. They're usually $20.99. <laughs> yes, it's a special prize just for you, Crash. I'll throw in one extra life uh, as a special deal. <laughs> Whoops, he's tied up, he can't pay. No, oh, unfortunate. How do I do this? How do I do this? Uh Well I might be able to get past it now because they gave me an Akuaku, Aku, but Well now you have baby mode, so just do it. Oh I could just Oh you just jump across apparently. Apparently just do that, I guess. <laughs> what was the problem, time? I don't know. I like how it took baby mode for you to just have the confidence to do it the correct way. Uh, no, I, I did. I tried that before and I died. <laughs> no, evidently, you did not try that before because you did it this time. You were fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Uh... 
Who's the end of the level when you have Aqua Because who fucking cares? Whatever. Yeah, we're okay. There we Look go. At the cortex pissed off the baby mode activated. <laughs> I can't believe you got. His eyes are all white. His pupils are really small. Like he's like really internally screaming about it. Stupid mask. <laughs> I'm gonna have a mask someday, and then you'll see. <laughs> and then we'll see which one is powerful. Soon enough. It's just you wait until next game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's so funny? My plan is nearly complete. Okay. And I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for it. He scratches his head like what? What's happening? What's that? I had something scratching inside my brain. <laughs> Engine, didn't we blow him up? He's gonna harness the force and use it to power the super cortex vortex he's built on his space station. Okay. The super cortex vortex. <laughs> the super cortex vortex, yes. I get it, Coco. The villain's the villain. <laughs> okay, bye. I like how her face went neutral before she left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And scene. <laughs> We're back now. Pardon the uh, interruption. Crash, bring me crystals. I mean, I guess. Custom Crash, and he had caught one of his hologram bots. He's just licking the lens. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shining the light into it. He's like putting his mouth over it so that his cheeks b brighten up. It's like glowing and it's like, it's like glowing out of his eyes. <laughs> it's projecting another cortex like from his <laughs> eyes like it's a cartoon reel. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's like a race or something to start with. I don't heck and remember anything about the final boss of this game. <laughs> don't die. The final boss of this game is a uh, it's a Spyro mini game. The final boss of this game is you and Cortex playing chess for like three hours. <laughs> the reason why it takes three hours is because he's trying to do a strategy and you're just complete chaos who has no idea what they're doing. He thinks you're just cleverly countering him, but he's like, why does none of nothing I do work? <laughs> has anything you've done ever worked against Crash Cortex? Wow, that was really easy, actually. <laughs> you have speed shoes now. I have speed shoes now. How are we breathing? We're just like out in space. Well, these rings generate their own clothes like atmosphere. It's fine. Oh, I see. <laughs> Would you win? I won. Yeah, I beat him. It was really easy, actually. <laughs> Wait, that's it? That that was the whole fight? That was the whole fight. I I thought it was like a you have to catch him up and then like at the crash. <laughs> <laughs> crap. Oh, right, because you need to get all the gems to get the real ending. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, I guess we're not done with Crash yet. It didn't say you need to get the relics, just the gems, so. Just the gems, I think, yeah. Oh, boy. I'll look that up. Time will use his own knowledge of the game to figure it out, <laughs> he meant to say. Toys for Bob was in support of this. Wait, didn't they work on Spyro? I, I guess they... Did work for both, I suppose. I guess they're like a remastering thing, like they do remasters or something. Toys for Bob also did the uh the fourth Spire or er, Crash game, right? I don't know. I think I think so. I'll look it up. Yes, they did. The VV babies. Though well, if I saw Bill Colby, I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Toys for Bob. Because it was just development support rather than like being the main one, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of funny how Toys for Bob developed the Spyro remakes or remasters and then they went on to make the fourth Crash game. Have they done anything else? Or was it just that stuff? Uh, mainly the Skylander games. They did Reignite a Trilogy, a game called Star Control. No idea what that is. Their most recent game was the Reignited Trilogy, actually. It looks like. No, no, these are the accolades. Where's the games they made? 
Uh, Star Control was their first game they made back in 1990s. They've been around since the 90s. Heard the name Star Control, but I don't think I know anything about it. Star Control 2, a game called The Horde, a game called Pandemonium, The Unholy War, Majoko Daisukuzen, Little Witching... What the fuck? <laughs> Disney's 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue. <laughs> Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. The Madagascar game that I had to play for my little brother because he couldn't fucking do anything in it. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. Madagascar Escape to Africa. Skylander, 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 Skylanders. Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Crash 4. And then I guess they wanted to work on Call of Duty Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, like the redo. Crash Team Rumble and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Call of Duty is a little bit of a departure. <laughs> Oh, do they develop or do they just work on it? I guess they might have just worked on it. It says the developers were Infinity Wards. They probably just helped. Yeah, I suppose. It doesn't say what they were doing in like the capacity. It just gives <laughs> a list of games they worked on. It says games developed in this list, but I guess they don't say whether or not they're the main developers are just giving like support work. I wish Spyro got a new game like The Crash did, but... The Crash is what I'm calling it this time, apparently. <laughs> Well, it won't come from Insomniac because they're making all that Spider-Man money right now. Even though everyone's complaining about how Mary Jane doesn't look super hot and pretty to them anymore. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. You haven't seen those thumbnails where it shows Mary Jane's <laughs> character model and they're saying like Spider-Man's gone woke. Oh, and they've uh, deliberately taken the screenshot in like a lighting or like a expression that where she looks kind of weird. <laughs> Spyro 4 Mystery of the Dragon appears online ahead of official reveal. Hmm. The original Spyro of the Dragon is one of the most beloved PlayStation classics there ever was, <laughs> sitting firmly alongside the likes of Crash Bandicoot in the early 90s. Blah, 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 blah. Is this even trustworthy? Is this, it? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, does this is actually a thing or is it just somebody uh, making stuff up? This was written in 2023. <laughs> Wild new rumor claims to leak Spyro 4 games, says Game Rant. Spyro 4 finally on the horizon, but may, may now be Xbox exclusive. No, this is bullshit. This is a fake thing. I'm going to press X to doubt on that one, I think. Print it hitting X to doubt. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not sounded very trustworthy there. We got to play that fourth one. I guess we'll get to it after Spyro 3, I suppose. Spyro... Th what, you, what? Fourth one? Or not Spyro, Crash, rather. Oh, I see what you mean. Crash 3. Man. Yeah, I keep getting it mixed up. Uh, time to... What, Crash 4? How long is that one? Do you, uh, if you want 100% completion, it says 84 hours. 84? I have no... I, I guess... Otherwise, if it's just regular, it's like 10 hours. I know it has like a bunch of like alternate versions of the levels on top of each level having like a time travel too, I think. Or there's like extra challenges besides just the time trial. Oh, Spyro's in Crash Team Rumble. Is he? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. That's the cart game remake, the newer one, right? Uh... It, um, can you please show it to me? It's like there's a map and it's like an arena game and you play as a bunch of different characters and they're like running around. Weird. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at. <laughs> but apparently Spyro's in it too, so. But is he Spyro or is he Skylander Spyro? <clears throat> He's Spyro Spyro because they're using the same model because they've worked on both games. Oh, okay. Yeah. But Allure is in it. Ripto was in it. I saw him for a second. Hunter, I guess. Probably. I didn't see him, but I mean, probably. <laughs> that reminded me of, I don't even remember what it was called, but there was a crash like party game, I think. Like a. There was a lot of those floating around. Like a mini gamey Mario Party type of thing, I think. You sure about that one? I don't think that's the thing. I think we were talking about last time why we're confused that never happened. I thought there was. Crash Games Wikipedia. 
Uh, Cortex Strikes Back, Warp, The Wrath of Cortex, Twin Sanity, Crash of the Titans, Mind Over Mutant, It's About Time, Racing Games, there's four, oh, here's a party game, Crash Bash, Crash Boom Bang. Crash Bash, that's right, that's the one I'm thinking of. And Crash Team Rumble that I was just talking about. Apparently that's a party game. <laughs> so that's so fun. There they are. Yep. 3D print that sticker today. <laughs> 3D print it. Don't print it out. 3D print it. 3D print it. Yeah. Okay, time's going to get the gems. Yeah, we're going to get the gems. We'll be back with that uh, when that's done. Here we are cutting. <laughs> uh, right now. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, whoops, I went into the thing. Oh, here's the cutscene. We are ready, Crash. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy this time for some reason. Is he though? I mean, he he's helping us blow up Cortex as a spaceship. Oh, that was really easy. <laughs> the watchtower. <laughs> well, that was it. We blew it up. Oh. <laughs> I see you've destroyed the watchtower. He says, slowly creeping up from the bottom of the screen. I have destroyed the watchtower. Oh. I assume Cortex is not happy about this. <laughs> it should have just been Cortex out. screaming for like 30 you seconds. <laughs> the crystals are not the only means of harnessing planetary energy. <laughs> This is the dialogue that uh, was supposed to play before that cutscene. <laughs> Let me warp you to my completed laser installation. Please play the cutscene again. <laughs> okay. That dialogue was supposed to be before the cutscene, but that's Yeah, time just finished getting all the gems like a month after we played the game last, so... <laughs> And now I don't know if I have to fight Cortex again or if that's just... I assume yes. Because that's not really an ending. Yeah, it was just blowing up the thing, so let's go. Hey, that doesn't exist anymore. Hey. Hey. We killed that. <laughs> what? what? Is he just going to get there and it's like a fake hologram Brio's projecting? He's like, whoops. <laughs> And he looks at his oxygen gauge, and he's like, I only had just enough time to get there, but now it's not there. Whoops. Well. <laughs> Goodbye. And then his little, his invisible little energy shield helmet goes away, and he just floats off in his face. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. He just freezes solid into ice, like uh, the one kid in Magic School Bus when he takes off his space helmet. <laughs> or like in Guardians of the Galaxy 1, or Guardians of the Galaxy 2, or Guardians of the Galaxy 3. <laughs> Does it happen in all three of them? They're in space. There, he was really easy again. I thought that was killing you. You haven't seen the last of me, Crash Bandit. Whopped. No, that's the that's the next one, I think. Well, he was teasing for the future game they were gonna release. I guess that's just it. We just see him blow up his space station, and that's it. There's no conclusion. <laughs> it's just well, we destroyed his stuff to get wrecked. Well, he's being kidnapped by a crab. Is the game broken? What? <laughs> Did you break the game? I, I may have broken the game. I'm not sure. <laughs> we just saw him blow that up, everybody. That's fine. <laughs> the carious visions. <laughs> um, uh, there may have been a scene missing here somewhere. <laughs> um, uh, crash to true ending. <laughs> What is this YouTube video? He just blows up the space station and it just ends. <laughs> That's it. There's no like. Well, I think what happens is at the start of the third game, it shows him crashing, and then he finds the other mask, right? Yeah, the, the, it shows the ship crashing. That's right, if I remember. And the other mask is all like, "Your face looks comfortable. Let me lay upon you." And he's like, "No." <laughs> But then he was cool with it because the mask was helping him. He was like, this is comfortable. You were right. 
Okay, well that's Crash 2 then. Yeah. Time, how'd, how'd it feel spending like playing this game off and on for a number of weeks in order to get all the gems just so <laughs> we could see that five minute cutscene? Not even five minutes, it was like five minutes of us looking at it and talking about stuff and then one minute of a cutscene. Mostly it pr was pretty fun. One of the levels took me like two hours to beat. Uh, was it worth it? Mm, I mean, I guess. <laughs> like, it was fun to do playing the game still. Show us the um, uh, level that took you two hours. Just skip this. We saw this. Go to the level that took you two hours to beat and show us what you had to do to do that. And then we'll sign off, I guess, on Crash 2. Uh, which one was it? <laughs> you think it would have left more of an impression since you spent two hours playing it. This is fine. This is down here. No, that's not the right way. I have a question for God. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've seen this already. Oh, it's just that's the cutscene room. You go up there to watch the cutscene. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Cold hard crash. <laughs> Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. So what was so hard about it, Time? Uh, I will show you. Here we go. Okay, it's here. You have to get through this, which is just awful. I hate it. It's mostly on ice. Took you two hours, huh? It's really bad. It's fine. Last I checked, Vegeta M911 beat this before it was even released. Well, I also had to do it twice because uh, I had to get all of the boxes on one run, and then I had to get the the gem on the path on a, on a different run. We well, had to do the death run Oops. twice. Oh, whoops. Well, yeah, I had to do. I had to do the, like the whole level twice, basically. Is the is the gate still there? Can you do it again or is that it? Uh, if you die in the thing, it's fine. Those keep looking like they're two like icicle fangs on the ceiling, but it's just a reflection. I said that last time, but it's just again, I, that's what I see when I look at it. Yeah, it looks it looks like it should be or like a reflection. Gosh, dang it. OK, well, I probably lost it now. <laughs> next time on whatever we play next. <laughs> this was Crash yeah. 2, everybody. It took time like two months to finish it. And all we got out of it was just a quick little nah, we broke a shit. Uh, we did it. We blew up the ship. And that's it. They're just like, well, we're going to go to lunch then because we've been waiting a while. <laughs> Says Coco, like just ordering something on her phone to pick up while they drive by. <laughs> Hold on. What kind of sandwich you want? Crash. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you always want that. Those are gross. Says Coco. Oh, God, ew. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Crash? It's literally glowing green like a nitro block. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, next time. Goodbye. <laughs> next time.